Hey everyone, can you hear me? Hey, that's good. Uh, I'm sure we'd get chat to appear in the corner, but so just give me a second, I'll uh, sort that out. Um, I know there is a way to do it on OBS, it's just not working for me for some reason. How's everyone doing? Uh, what's everyone been up to today? I know it's late evening for Europe. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm streaming on OBS, yeah, um, so it does have the control panel, but it just says that my stream doesn't exist. Which, this is going to cause a massive shock. My stream exists. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, not sure what's happened there. But yeah, feel free to DM me, Lefty, maybe, maybe I could progress on that out. Yeah, how's everyone doing? <laughs> My man's stream is non-Euclidean. <laughs> yeah, it is a Schrodinger's stream. Um, right. In which case, I'll just finagle something out. Um, Not that you guys will see it, but <laughs> I'll just make my windows cropped in such a way I can see the chat. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been a while. It's uh, just a matter of um, when I when I can do it, really. Uh, it was Corb, I think. So, Mazare, um, LKS VR has be become a th kind kind of a thing uh, through a dolphin. Thing, a th dolphin add-on. Um, it's very weird, but it's um, it's cool to view the world in a different way. Sorry, Dwight, you cropped LKS. Did I? It's not... Did I actually? Oh my goodness! Why does it look like this? <laughs> right. Let me sort. Let me sort that out. I kind of know why it's done that. That is very annoying. <sighs> is that fine now? Is that fine? Is everyone seeing it fine? <laughs> yes, yes, Bedrock, that is exactly it. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, hey, thanks. Hey, Kale! Hey, good to see you. Yeah, this is um, this is very impromptu. It's going to be a mess. Uh, I, I am not a professional streamer. I, I, if you want good streaming content, go to Letty Doodle or Negative Sanchez, or who knows, maybe even some new up and coming streamers that I'll shout out when they happen. Um, God, I love, I love, I love when I just put one of these on and everyone just shows up for it. Uh, Letty, don't worry about, uh, I know you're DMing me, don't worry about it. As long as I can see, I can see you guys in the corner through just making the tabs a certain size and shape. Um, yeah, well, this is a good little group, so, yeah. Hi, Watty. Uh, good to see you too. Um, so yeah, I guess let's just carry on. Uh, I hope, hope that the randomizer's working today. We'll, uh, we'll check that real quick. I do just about remember what happened last time. I believe we fought Yvonne. The giant frog. And let me just check that this randomizer's back open. 
Uh, yeah. Welcome to the arcade. Send an adult in here and you can turn them into a sub savvy merchant. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I don't have a message skip on. Oh, I don't have a message skip on because I didn't want to accidentally skip the dialogue from Lazaro because he was co-commentating. Yeah, last time we saw fought the game, this time we'll be fine. That is clearly an arcade. This is the arcade. I wonder if it contains any jesters. That's a niche joke. Um, let's see. Is there anything we can get up to today? Uh, I can't remember what we did. Mm hmm. I think we're currently. What sort of finances like? Oof, that's not great. Uh, I think we unlocked the animal hunter hut, but we didn't get to see what job it is because we don't have the monies. Um. You need. Oh, we don't need that much more. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna do some grinding. <laughs> More grinding. Yeah, I, I, yeah. So we know why. I think we know partially why uh, Bedrock's um, been working behind the scenes on uh, fixing the game up just a little bit. Why did someone bounce into that? Okay. Uh, and now the, and now we should. Uh, the, so, th so for those of you who don't remember or, or just weren't here for the first stream, basically what happened was the um, this I was playing a version of the randomizer that wasn't public yet uh, that Bedrock had gifted me, um, and is this? I have a feeling that this is um, the wrong difficulty setting. Oh, it might be because I might have recorded some um, something. Uh, oh, yeah, for the support video. Oh, I have too many thoughts. Oh no, wait, hang on. Uh, yeah, no, that looks wrong. Yeah, plus doing a quarter damage. Whoops. Yeah, it's easy mode. Alright, we... I think. To be fair, I think we started last time with easy mode because the thing is we don't have, like, soldiers. Uh, we have this one soldier, but that's for uh, randomizer softlock reasons. <laughs> Yeah, normally they have 8 health, and they're taking a quarter here. Anyway, as I was saying, so I was playing an unreleased version, sort of a beta version of the randomizer last time. Um, and... Since then, we haven't had any releases for it yet, because Bedrock's been trying to fix some of the issues that cropped up when we played it. Uh, well, when I played it on stream, at the very least. Um, and... Uh, he's also adding some things to the next randomizer, I believe. So, we'll just have to keep an eye out for it, um, obviously. Oh, I forgot we had a child on us, whoops. Well, we just killed a kid. Um, but yeah, so, keep an eye out for the next randomizer when it comes. Um, but I'm gonna stick with this one for now because if I put- The problem is, if I put another randomizer in, if I- if I turn it over, I'm going to lose- It's going to re-randomize everything. So I'm going to have the merchants potentially just turn into something else, stuff like that. I don't think that's fun. I, don't, I think it takes away from the journey a little bit, so... Um, we'll definitely have more than enough money, but I might as well just get some more money over here. We're starting... <laughs> Start off the stream very excitingly, just grinding. Good. By the way, I think this should be 720p because I think I turned up the internal resolution in Dolphin, so the stream might look a little nicer than it did last time. Uh, I'm really glad I can stream this and it's not slowing down or anything. Um, But very soon we're going to find out what our next job class is. Um, streams good, with it. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I think it probably is a little bit higher. Yeah, no, brilliant. This is uh, this is what we like to see. This is LKS running on a PC, the way I I want it to. <laughs> 
anyway, so we should be able to go and get find out what our next uh, job class is. Uh, we just need to trade that money in. And find a find a willing a citizen who's willing to become a, 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 the next test subject. Have the randomizer have multiple seeds. Oh, like a profile? That'd be awesome if you can accomplish that. Dude, this game looks so good in 720p. Uh, did we beat the Oni Man? No, we haven't beat the Oni Man. Yep. Okay. The reason I filter like that is to keep, um, if this is a really terrible job, I don't want it to be a high health citizen. So I'm just, and whenever you sort the citizens it, uh, by job, it'll put the high health ones first. So anyway, so like, like this. Oh, this is a bit fiddly, but yeah. Then this guy's gonna be the least high health. So anyway, uh, we have... And that's where the soldiers are. <laughs> well, that was a huge waste of money. Uh, yeah, so the free default soldier, the first job class you get in the game, along with farmers, now costs... How much does it cost? This is the guard hut. Send an adult in here and you can turn them into grunt soldiers for free. They handle the fighting. Um, oh my goodness, it costs like a million. Right? Dear me. Dear me. <laughs> no, troops don't have set health, you're right. Um, no, 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 uh, Amoeban, what I'm saying is when you... When you do this... Right? In each individual, um, no, 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 Amoeba, I talked about this in my uh, Hidden Mechanics video. When you sort job classes like this, it um, sorts, like the farmers now, they're sorted into farmers, but at the very, but the farmer at the front is the one it, with the most health, and the farmer at the back in the queue is the one with the less health. So, just in case it was a really terrible job, which it is, and because it slightly randomizes the health, I'm just going to put a low health in there. Just so I'm not losing anything, really. That's what I was going for. Yep, that's very technical, okay, so I'm a huge nerd. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we have really expensive, basic grunts. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Um, anyway. Private, do not enter. Deadly and dangerous UMA work lurk by lurking here. Research has been temporarily halted. Skinny Observatory is closed. Astronomer Skinny Ray. I freaking love Skinny Ray. It said they were free, uh, Amoeban, because that's set dialogue. That is written bit by bit dialogue. It's not giving a, a variable for that number. It's ju it's just it, it that's just a text file. So it's using the original text file of the guard hut. They were a million. It was a million ball. <laughs> to get a single grunt soldier. No, no, it was 338,000 atop. It, that was how much it, more it said I need, and I already have 600,000, see? So it's actually, 600, it's the 600,000 I have, plus the 300,000 uh, or, or so. So it's about a million for a gr one grunt soldier. And we have the other one from anti softlocks So, yeah. So this is, this is, this is just great, really, when you think about it. <laughs> um, that's a very good question. Actually, that's a good question. There's a purse up here. Can you escape? No, you can't. Yeah. I was seeing if you could escape the fight we're about to do by building some stairs, but the stairs don't occur until after the fight, which is fine. Uh, yeah, I, I can't wait for an enemy randomizer. That's going to be more difficult, though, uh, for a variety of reasons, but it should be possible. Dang. Miscounted. There we go. Uh, 
There we go. There's a hidden crack behind that tree. Ow! Oh. Gosh, I'm on one health. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if the UMA, like, uh, placement data, the enemy placement data, is the same as, like, the hole and obstacle placement data, because that'd be really interesting. That could get very soft lucky very quickly without a lot of um, logic there. Yeah, no, I want to play a version of this game where you go into Ruin Turnip Field and it's just the worst. It's all the, like, uh, flying machine part puzzles. It is the same? Oh, so is that why the enemy randomizer is so difficult? Because you'd have to track down which ones are used for enemies, make a big list of those, and then swap those around? Because that makes a lot of sense. That would be a lot of logic. <laughs> um, right, I'm low on health, but... These are all fairly easy enemies, I just got a bit careless. So, maybe we just... Okay, just kill him before he moves, thank you. Um... <laughs> we have to remember that LKS modding is really early, and the fact that Bedrock got this working at all is just because he is a dedicated man. Uh, oh yeah, this bit of very funny game design. Be careful, the Umar ahead is too strong, I think it's too early for you. And you can get through this with a lumberjack anyway, and just go off map. I, 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 I really wonder if they did that on purpose. Because that sign will stay there for the entire game, so it will always be too early for you. So it's just a matter of when you feel like, yeah, I could do that. I kind of like that, as this game design goes. Um, anyway, we have the Oni having a conversation, we're just going to leave them to it. They don't care about us. Oh look, it's assigned to the part of the game that made everyone quit and no one ever played to the bits where it got really interesting. Oh, yeah. and then we have the throne. What's this throne doing? I originally I didn't realize this was a throne. It took me ages to realize this is the back of a throne. It's just I've got some uh, equations written on it. Uh, and even what are you saying why to uh, specifically? Why do people quit at Sunflower Plains? Uh, because it's the part of the game that actually starts challenging people, and there's so much stuff you can do to prepare for it. There's a lot of armor and. Uh, new jobs you can get before you even go in, but people just get lazy and just jump into it head first. They want to clear it in one run instead of like chipping away, like doing the first bit, and then going home and then coming back and doing the second bit. Anyway, all three of those Oni will start attacking this if you just. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage, right? Uh, all three of the Oni will start attacking uh, this the moment you start building it, so yeah, that's a thing. Uh, stairs. Everyone complains that these stairs are like the worst thing in the game. They are not that bad. I think they're stupid. I think they're annoying. I, I, but I just, they're not that bad. <laughs> What's everyone's opinions on stairs? Give your opinions on those specific stairs right there now. I, I want to see them. <laughs> I think because some far playing is a bit long, it takes a while of trudging through before the next interesting game event. That is true. I think that's the main thing. Like, some far planes is one of the lesser interesting areas, just sort of in the game's mythos. Um, so the oh, just 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 cut the stairs. It's easy. Um, yeah, though it's one of those less interesting areas. It doesn't have quite the theming that a lot of the other areas do. And it does take a while, so you have to already be invested in the game at that point and be like, yeah, I'm going to get to the other end. And I think there's a general problem with the game, that the beginning of the game is just sort of a generic fantasy adventure. It has like, you know, like demon enemies and sunflower enemies and stuff. And you don't expect it to go to the like, weird existential depths that it like, tre that, like treads upon later. 
So I can understand people just getting to Sunflower Plains and being like, wow, there's a lot of effort and I'm not hooked yet, so I'm just going to leave it here. I can genuinely understand that, yeah. Um, I want to make a whole video on that, actually. Uh, like, why you quit at Sunflower Plains, because I know so many people have. So, yeah. Anyway, we should probably go into this boss fight, shouldn't we? Don't replace them, just remove them, you won't be able to beat the game, but it'll be less annoying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Removing the stairs. Yes. Oh, shoot. Oh, my man's just not moving. Oh, I never noticed this. I know, I think I know why he's not moving. He's tied to some stairs that don't exist yet. That's not like a glitch or anything. He's just living his best life. Naming, yeah, why why it did you do X thing is also really engaging. That is such a two-way sword, because if you say, like, you definitely did this, and it's a very common thing, then people instantly get hooked, like, oh, this guy gets me, this guy gets where I'm coming from. If you, uh, but if people don't, then they can sometimes get really angry, like, oh, you've just said I did this thing and I didn't. But I, I still think it's worth overall to predict, like, yeah, some of you probably had this predicament because it, it has that like relatability and understanding of the topic you're talking about. I'd really like to do like why you quit at Sunflower Plains or even why you quit after one boss because for the people who haven't played this, of which there's very few I assume, uh, we've not actually talked about- this is a mini boss, we've not fought the like a single boss yet. Why you installed a killable children mod in Skyrim? <laughs> Amoeba, do you want to admit something to the class? Young individual? <laughs> oh, it's so much harder to do counter-attacks when you only have two soldiers. I'm gonna attempt counter-attacks anyway. Um, damn it, I've sent too many. Oh wait, you know what? He's on one health. This is fine. This is for oh. <laughs> Uh, Okay, well, a carpenter died. Sorry, Josh. Who cares? Um, fun thing about this fact, if you go too far this way, you're gonna leave the fight. Like, if you go too far up this plateau. But you can do this. You can just very, very carefully sneak back onto the ledge without going too far, and you can all use this during this fight to heal. There you go, there's a sneaky strat if you're ever struggling on Oni Man, who I do think is a bit uh, is a, is like more charging fight. Uh, we're gonna do the meme strat. I call it a meme strat, but it's literally what they do in speedruns. Where you s dig up this hole now to save time. <laughs> Mid fight. What's funny in speedruns though, is because the camera is focused on the Oni Man, and you send people into this hole, like this, um, the camera gets really confused and you can get real you can make it kind of do this. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's your little LKS knowledge of the day. If you get too close to the Oni Man because he's the centre point, the camera starts spinning wildly. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I think I might turn it to normal mode after this, because this is honestly like this is pretty forgiving at this point. You have finally defeated the boss across the river. Now the world is under the rule of the kingdom of Opoko. The actual disrespect of trying to defeat a small army and they just walk past you, dig a crate next to your bed and go back to hitting you. Yeah. Um, the rules, uh, world is under the rule of the kingdom of Opoko. Another thing about this game that I think is really cool if you get invested, but turns you off if you're not, is the fact that the game at the start is like, yep, it's over, we did it. We, 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 we took over the world, congrats. And then it keeps going like, oh, actually it's bigger than that, and actually it's bigger than that. And if you're not invested in that, it does, it might feel like moving goalposts on a game that was probably at, at the bottom of your backlog anyway. <laughs> Tyrant mode, perma damage randomizer then. Bedrock, I have two mods in chat right now. I could ban you. <laughs> Wait, Letty, what did you think was hilarious? Oh, no, I always thought- sorry. Yeah, no, I love it. I actually really like it. 
But I think for some people, if this is a game they're just trying to get through to get through their backlog, that might turn them off because it might just seem like a bit exhausting. Okay, I'm glad that most people like it. I'm just saying I think other for other people it might be exhausting, especially when like they do it once more after this and Sunflower Plains is next. King Corb, congratulations on uniting the world. I pressed A too late. That was the most awkward clap of all time. <laughs> Mass, behave yourself. Uh, my king, you're the best. The world is now uh, ours. World domination is easier than I thought. If we all work together, it'll be a cinch. Kinch? Never knew you'd say that word. Oh, that is true of me then. Yeah. But maybe people just really suck at the game, it takes some ages. Anyway. It is cinch, isn't it? I've never heard it said, I think. I think this is the only- I've ever see only seen it written down, and this is the game that introduced it to me. Anyway, we have a letter. What horrible handwriting. Challenge? A letter of challenge? A letter of challenge to the king of Aljerko Kingdom. You suck. You're a world-class jerk. Me the best. From Oni King. <laughs> Carbo, imagine if Carbo is just illiterate like Pit from Kid Icarus. I love how seriously he says King there, like, King? Hey, fun fact, on the map there, you can see that there's not a connection from Farmland to the Oni King Arena, which suggests that maybe originally you had to enter Sunflower Plains by the back route of Dark Valley. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be a really cool way to do it, but it'd be really annoying to access over and over. <laughs> What's up, I'm Corbo 8 and I can't effing read. <laughs> We don't know if he's eight. <laughs> Probably on purpose, because he gets up to some dodgy stuff. Uh, <laughs> anyway, while I change the settings, I want to quickly read out uh, the four... I ate two fortune cookies before this uh, that came with a Chinese that I had. And one of those fortune cookies said, um, Good health will be yours for a long time. I am chronically ill and I just had a Chinese. Good health is not coming my way. The other one I think was a lot more accurate though, because it said, you will reach the highest possible point in your business or profession. There is no one else trying to be this good at LKS as I am. So I definitely think that is doable. I think I'm already at the highest point of my business. <laughs> I will, although I will happily take challenge. Uh, it, it's it's lonely at the top. What can I say? With all that's happened, Lord King Corb is feeling just dandy. In the tiny throne room of his tiny castle, he sits on his throne, looking at a now larger map of the world. Defeat the Oni King in the Dark Valley for world domination. Um, we're now at a really interesting- oh, oh, we have a festival. No, I don't- I don't want to stop the festival. We'll, we'll see the festival. We're actually at now a really interesting point, by the way, because... I don't know how the randomizer handles certain things. And farmland- no, uh, the farming district, yeah. Farmland, uh... Oh yeah, there's the club. Oh, it's got like a reflection texture. Dang. Today is the Spike Club Festival. It's a joyous occasion. La la la, Oni man, hail to the kingdom. I love my cult. <laughs> yay yay, the kingdom's bigger now. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah it is. But yeah, Farmland uh, has certain properties you can buy that have multiple entrances for the same job. Oh. Uh, so, like, like the shopping arcade has like multiple merchant entrances. So I just wonder if each entrance is randomized or not. So anyway, 
Uh, Maz, you have not met Skinny Ray, but uh, Skinny Ray's a character I really love, and for some reason I feel like you'll love him too. Is the end of the universe pitch black, or is it Snow White? What is at the end of the universe? One way to find out. Yeah, we're about to. Something lurks beyond the stars. It lies at the edge of the universe. Yes, it's Apo's guy. <laughs> oh my, you must be Corb, king of this kingdom. You must excuse me. My name is Skinny Ray. That is totally not a mistranslation of my Japanese name. I am an astronomer. Thank you very, very much. Thanks to you, this area is now safe and peaceful. I can now view the sky safely on the hill and concentrate on my research of the stars. Oh, I heard a rumor through the grapevine that you're going to punish some guy called the Oni King. I wish you luck on your journey out into the wilderness. Take care. What a G. If no one else has me, Skinny Ray has me. Can I get an Amen? There is a strange report lying on Skinny Gray's desk. Month X Day X, 8.50pm. I noticed something while doing celestial observation. There are many shooting stars right after earthquakes. This is a great discovery. I'll start research tomorrow. Oh shoot, he's writing at his desk. I legit forgot you could do that. <laughs> the sun and moon and one, two, three, four. About 128 stars make up the night sky. Is that what it says? I've never seen this dialogue before. Yeah, fair enough. He must get more dialogue later. Oh well. Uh, should probably go home. Uh, yeah, sure. Main reason these stairs suck, by the way, is just because the um. Usually you can line yourself up better, but the Dark Valley Cliffs kind of get in the way. And as you get close, it does that. So yeah. Actually, ball in character. Yeah, no, he he becomes a very vital character uh, about halfway through the game, and I can't say I expected that when I first played it. But I'm glad he does. He has a weird amount of depth as well. There's a little bit of lore to him that I'd love to share in a in a video that I don't see. Don't think I've seen anyone talk about. Well, except the wiki mentioned it a little bit. Uh, 2010 wiki. What? I heard my name. Hey, that's great, Letty. No one said your name. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, about the paintings. You can change the pictures on the walls to anything you want. Is this, this is your castle, after all. Changing the pictures might refresh the atmosphere of the castle. Try it any time. I love when Letty hallucinates. <laughs> um, Mass. <laughs> So, because Verde sent a letter last time, um, where is it? Here it is. So Verde sends a letter saying, hey, now that we have the suggestion box, I'm going to send a letter asking, could we put up some paintings because the castle's really boring? Um, so, <laughs> Liam responds by putting up pictures of a photorealistic cow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, <laughs> um, so... Now what do we do? Uh, I suppose... Firstly, let's just read these. King, good work so far, but I hate you. You work as like dogs, idiot bum, goon. And, uh, bad wetter, sissy Mary. Yeah, I feel better now. If you get Castle 3 before the painting event, you get a secret painting texture? Weird. I didn't know that. Oni culture report. My king, there are Onis hiding in that dark valley. When you hear them playing their flutes, watch your head. There'll be lots of pots flying at you. Be sure to bring an army of animal hunters. Yeah, I'd love to. Sadly, I cannot, probably. <laughs> We're about to invade a nation because someone called you a jerk. That guy's on thin ice. He is. Salvation for believers. Ra men. Why does the sun rise? What about the moon? That is thanks to God. God is good. God is great. 
Do you pray? If you don't pray, you'll pay. I really respect someone that writes out their, um, uh, I forget what they're called, feedback noises? Their and ers <laughs> in their letters. Only those who are chosen by God may become bald. As baldness is pleasing to God, he... Oh. He connects with... Oh, what is it? He connect, connects with those like myself who are sans hair. Okay. Uh, actually, no, we need you back. Let's, is there anything we can buy in farm one? Um, we can buy... Oh, we can just buy the lumberjack. Up. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I do want to buy that, though. That is one of the best properties in the game. Riverside Cabin. Uh, so I want that as soon as I can. Florist would be fun for memes. Maz, if I ever make an LK If I ever direct an LKS movie, I will somehow try to get you as Campbell. <laughs> Right, so, uh, so we have yeah. we have more cities. Oh goodness, we have to wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Why is Riverside a good property? Because because of LKS reasons, Watty. Because of LKS reasons. Um, specifically, it's a good property because when you tax collect it, you know what? I'll probably show it off later. Um, but if you tax collect it, you get a, a reward for it. And the reward is disproportionate to, to um... Hang on, I want to see where the carpenter goes now it's been dismissed. Come here, Mike. Um... But basically the reward is like way too strong considering it's the cheapest property and also makes no sense for like what it is. We're doing some citizen stalking. Yeah. You know, maybe it's fine. You probably just go and build, uh, like, smack a house nearby. You okay, dude? Times are rough, I know. You need your breakfast break? Okay, you're coming with me. I'm bored. Go on. Um, who else be about? Grassland Town. I don't know why I read that sign. I know, I know, I know what these places are. I've played the game a few times. Dog. Don't look at me like that. There must be someone about. Oh, wait, we don't have one of our soldiers. For some reason. Why don't we have one of our soldiers? Where are they gone? Weird. Anyway, how much does this cost? I could go up to the door and find out what it is, but it's way more fun to play the gambling game. Oh my goodness, why do we need 1,500,000 like, for that? Oh, this is... Oh, this sucks, actually. I just realised. So we need a lumberjack in order to progress. Oh, the music's great. We need a lumberjack in order to progress right now. And... There are so many buildings to check, and they, I think they can all cost different prices. This is going to be... This could get very grindy very fast. Oh, no. Okay, there's another citizen. Uh, at least I know that we get farmers for free. So... Uh, we're going to turn a bunch of carefree adults into farmers, and we're just going to have a very farmer-based economy. Oh, unless we take the kid with us. Do you want to come with us, Vince? Do you want to die again? No, I'm, I'm good. This is a very expensive school building. Trains carefree adults. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, gosh, it could be. 
there is actually a carefree adult building. That is a possibility. Right, well, now we need to get some money. We're not actually grinding yet. Right now, we can go and get basic treasures that are just out and about anyway. So that's good. Uh, but um, we also know that soldiers are really expensive just for level 1 soldiers, which sucks. And I just realized that because one of my soldiers I can't find, we are battling with just one soldier on normal mode. What a stair strap. I don't know what I did on the stairs. I, I Stairs are not an issue for me. I, I will I will s show off my s stair swaggage. There you go. <laughs> I actually try to subtly, I don't know if you've noticed this, but if I have footage of me going upstairs in a video, like, like, sorry, if I have footage of me going upstairs that I've recorded while doing a video, I will try and include it in the video to subtly make people think that stairs aren't as bad as they are. Because they are bad. There is no reason for them to do what they do. <laughs> but if I can, like, just show, like, how, like, me getting up them, it might make people think, oh, look, it's really possible. <laughs> oh, who knows? Maybe they'll see the stairs draft and, um, they'll be like, oh, you know, what do stairs do? Uh, so basically, Maz, the problem with stairs that you won't see because I'm just too good at it is... The problem, it's actually just this set of stairs. Basically, when you go upstairs, you want to walk at, like, a specific angle. Like that. The problem with these stairs in particular, though, is that because they're next to this high cliff, the camera kind of get moves with it, and it can do this, like, as you're walking forwards, and that means that citizens will fall off the sides of the stairs, like that. And therefore, people get really annoyed by this, and, like, I get it, I just... Yeah. <laughs> the stairs are uh, very clever. Uh, right, scaffolding. Let's get some scaffolding support going. There we go. Cool. What is good, though, is that we have an early merchant. So... Blah. So because we have an early merchant, we have something we wouldn't usually have, which is access to this. And that should give us a ton of money that we wouldn't otherwise have. Which would be really funny if we use the perch the perch the, the purses from merchants in order to afford the shopping arcade where you usually get merchants. Money? Money. But maybe I just show off some good ways to go upstairs and people just implement those into when they're playing and they just don't think stairs are much of an issue and that also tricks people into liking LKS <laughs> or at least getting past the slightly less uh, strong opening to the game. I don't know. I just always, I, I feel like LKS doesn't put its best foot forwards even though like all of this is cool. Like Mars is just telling me like constantly, hey, this, this is all really cool. And I'm like, oh yeah. It's just not... It's not the part of the game I'm like a fan of. It's just the part of the game I like. They have proven that watching people do something successfully does make you better. Oh, that's cool. Dang it, that was not a, a, a success, successful stair wiggle. Oh my goodness, what was that? <laughs> right. We really did collect one of these. That's a model and a half. Thanks for demonstrating the incorrect and correct way so we know which we need to do. I'm glad you get my methods. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think where the other purses are. I think that's the only purse we can get. Yeah, no, the other purses are Dark Valley, Sunflower Plains. School planes, New Island, none of which are going to be available for a while. Like the earliest, yeah, it's going to be a while. Oh come on! Oh, I feel so weak. Yeah, stairs have been such an issue 
that some like they've been like a major focal point of like some reviews of this game. And I just do not get it. I'm like, it is annoying, but you also get an upgrade in like half an hour. Well, probably a little longer than that for us because we have some grinding to do. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, you get... Oh, this reset. Dang it. Um, yeah, you get you get an upgrade that basically makes them a non-issue immediately after this. And I just so... I, it, I just think a lot of people reviewed this game not not having beaten it, or at least making it very far. And I think that's a bit annoying, honestly, because people who have are, like, fans. Typically. Like, hey, yeah, this is one of the best games in the Wii. If someone's not saying that, it's quite clear sometimes that they just didn't finish it. And again, I think that's just partially because the game has a slow opening. And I think it also makes it look like you've seen a lot more of the game than you have. Uh, like, like it just seems like, oh yeah, it's going to be like just kind of grasslandy like biomes, uh, and, and then you just take over a place with a generic monster and then go to the next game. I mean, there's a lot more to it than that. It just takes a while to get there, and gamers' time is precious, so. Are there any... Is there anything else we can do right now for easy money? Or is it just going to be difficult money? It's so disrespectful to see how you're set to final blow them. Listen, if I can disrespect Oni, I will. I swear I just heard something. Very weird. I swear I've just, like, discovered a bit of LKS trivia that I'm sure no one else noticed. <laughs> that is... we... okay. How do I... how do I test that? Let me test it. You should check the building in case you need to get something else. This building? Yeah, no, I'm gonna check this building, but this, this requires a million. Which is, um... Ah... Uh, you're right, like, if... Uh, I should probably find out if... Because if, if this is useless... Right, guys... I can find out what this is by saving up a million and throwing someone in, or I could just ask. If I ask, I can find out if it's useless. If I don't ask, then we basically gamble. <laughs> so, uh, th this could be the difference between, like, maybe an hour of wasted time or not. But, um... What's up, Puffy you missed? Um, well, our grunt soldiers cost a million. Hence, the farmers. Uh, and also, I think I've just found out a piece of obscure LKS trivia. Um... Hold up. I need to ch I need to test this. This is now gonna this is gonna bug me until I don't. Dang it, I messed up. Right. Listen very carefully. See if I'm going crazy. Right, I think I'm going crazy. So, I heard the ding of the spoil dropping, like, in a lower note, and I thought it was the... I genuinely thought it was the old... because the old people were doing it, and they have, like, lower voices that it messed up somehow. Right. That that really confused me. Anyway, let's, um... Let's trade in some money. Oh, there you are. Come with me. Sorry, Alice. <laughs> Anyway, guys, do you think I should gamble my money on finding out who that is, or should I just ask to find out what job that is? Because that could be a massive difference in how long everything takes today. <laughs> um, either way, we can still definitely... You think I should ask? Okay, fine. We can still definitely afford the Moon Harvest. We are not affording Shopping Arcade. If... Oh, it would suck if the job, if one of the jobs we need is in shopping arcade. Gambling is funny. 
We can afford to gamble right now. Gambling is funny in video games. I'm going to say that for legal reasons. Do not gamble in real life. But no, we can buy the Moon Harvest right now. At the very least. So... Well, actually, no, I don't need to ask. Um, eh, I might need to ask. The thing is, I have six million, and the limit I've set on how expensive a job can be, I think, is 1.5 million. So, with the three properties I've got here, I could still throw a person in each and find out that way and always be able to afford it. The only problem is, if the job we need is in the shopping arcade, which is 19 million, then we could be really screwed. <laughs> hey, chill fruits. How's it going? Okay. Okay. You know what, guys? We're gambling. We're going to find out. Is this the job we need? That's a minor. There is... There's not a lot we can do with miners. We're only getting them slightly earlier. We could do... We could do something very broken with them, though. And I think I'm probably probably going to do that. Um, right. Job number two. Okay, you are... Li okay, you are literally freaking useless to me. <laughs> I am going to do the broken thing. Okay, a, sh a cook? A cook is- a cook's fine. Um... It, it, it's- it's- Um... Cooks mean we can kill chickens early, while there are no chickens around. Um, right, num job number three. <laughs> how much did that cost? Did anyone see how much that cost? <laughs> so we still don't have a lumberjack, which means that the lumberjack is probably in the shopping arcade, which means we need to raise 19, 19 million. But we do have a job class you're only supposed to have one of in the entire game. Yeah, so you're supposed to pay about 30 million and go through a whole side quest just to get one of these guys, and you can only get one. And now we have three of them. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, this is. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I win! I win! <laughs> oh, it's so over. Oh, it's so over. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, this will make grinding easy. I don't- right. I'll be real. I think the lumberjack is in the shopping arcade. Which means we'll either have to raise 19 million or I cheat. I'll probably cheat for the sake of entertainment. Because I don't feel like grinding 19 million. Oh dear me. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is amazing. Um... I think people are pretty chill if I just cheat for the... Uh, the... Guys, I know cheat- like, I have to cheat a, a lumberjack in now, because there is no way I'm making that money back. Even, even if I did ask all the job houses just then what it was, we'd still be having to get about 13 million, and I don't think we've even had that much for the entire game. So, I think just for the sake of making things less grindy, I might cheat here just just to keep the stream a bit interesting, um, but I am very happy with this. <laughs> Look at these dudes. <laughs> uh, 
the cri I don't understand that reference, Chill Fruit, but I'm going to laugh anyway because I'm in a very happy mood because I have three steel knives. <laughs> oh. Is there a cow in the forest? No, there's not. Alright. I have become Silver Soldier, Destroyer of Worlds. All right, guys. Um, let me let me go save. I I'm the way we're gonna cheat is I'm just going to load up Little King Story normally. Also, you can there's a uh, glitch that happens in the evenings that creates like a red bar across the screen here. I won't die to Sheesh. I'll one shot Sheesh just to prove you wrong. Um. Right, so I'm probably just going to boot the game up normally, get a lumberjack, and then keep playing as normal because I th I think that's more interesting. The rats freeze in place. Everything freezes in place during like menus and stuff. Yeah. Are you guys okay with that? Are you guys okay with me cheating the lumberjack so you don't have to sit watch me grind one forest for like probably like two hours? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I have a f I have official permission from the 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 mod uh, creator, so that's okay. Thank you. Uh, in the meantime, um, wanna wanna talk about anything? Uh, what's your least fa uh, what's your favorite and least favorite Little King story jobs? I'm I'm interested to to know. Cheating won't work in the next version though because of c the custom units. Okay. Um, but yeah, what's, uh, what's, um, uh, just tell me if you see the game booting up normally now, by the way, um, before we just have some small talk. I assume it just went black and now you see the game rebooting, right? Is that, is that what everyone's seeing? I could probably double check if I went on my phone, but. Yep, yeah, cool. And it just went black before that. Yep, that's fine. Right. Um, yeah, so what's, um... What's, like, uh, people's favourite and least favourite job classes? Uh, that's... I I've already said what my least favourite job class... Well, what I think the worst job class in this game is. Uh, I think it's the wizard. Uh, I think his ability is very niche. It means you have to create a wholly new playstyle. And you get him at the very end of the game. And that's... Not worth it. Why would you create an entirely new playstyle for the end of the game when you don't need to do anything else? Oh no! The ghosts are currently in the barn. I repeat, the ghosts are in the barn. Liam, Liam, get them, get them. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. So. So the ghosts. So the steel knights. Uh, well, there's only one steel knight, and it's supposed to be a ghost, and they're supposed to sit in the castle. But because we're not at the, uh, because we're getting them way too early, they are not in the castle that they're supposed to be in. Um, and uh, and therefore they don't know where to go, <laughs> so they're just kind of stood in place, going, "Huh, oh, I don't know where I'm going." <laughs> who's who's in here? Okay. Um, right, we'll 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 use. Uh, Carefree Adult and get the Lumberjack. Are you okay? Oh, hey, Letty! Lulu, Lu. Oh, King, you surprised me. You were listening to my horrible humming. How embarrassing. Yeah, you should be ashamed if you're humming, Letty. Right. Yes! So. Okay, yeah, cool. Now we have the lumberjack. I'm gonna save and quit and all that stuff. So yeah, the steel. The whole thing with the steel knight is that 
the current the jobs that you train in your town are soldiers, grunt soldiers and hardened soldiers. Um, and the reason for that is because Alpoco is sort of approaching the modern day. Like, sorry, when Karabu takes over the uh, Alpoco and creates the rate, the era of the kingdom known as the Little King story, he it's approaching the modern day. Whereas the reason they're called Steel Knights and not actual Steel sh Soldiers, the the text was wrong because of the mod, but whatever, um, is because in the past there were knights like Hauser, uh, who is uh, a bull knight. The thing is, the Steel Knight was the most powerful sort of warrior of his generation, but he was mauled to death by a group of uh, wild dogs, and his armor was sold sort of on the black market. So when you buy it, you buy his armor and also the ghost of that fallen hero that in it, that is haunting the armor. So yeah, you go. Where is all this lore from? You well, the that most of the uh, knight is just what the merchant says when he sells you the armor. He just explains that to you. The thing about Opoku being sort of near the modern day and knights being a thing of the past and soldiers becoming a thing is more of an inference. There's actually quite a lot of lore to Little King's story. Um, I would say more on it, but who knows? I'll have to keep my lip zipped. Apart from the death, he only talks about his wife and family. I forgot he talks about his wife and family. Yeah. But the idea is just that he was a, he was a powerful warrior who died, and his ghost haunts the armor. Going to that barn will turn you into a ghost. Don't worry about the implications. Um, I'm just going to double check that this is definitely the mod again. Yep. Cool. I could tell a lot of Little King Story lore that you'd be like, how on earth do you know that? There's no way that's real. Um, the game's lore is very, like, vague and mysterious, but it is there. And at times it's very consistent, so it's clearly, there's like an idea behind it. Oh, this is such a motley crew. Who have we got? Have we, have we got every job here? Yeah, one. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. I was going to say we don't have the other soldier, but honestly, now that we have the most powerful hero of a forgotten age duplicated three times, I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> Th three hours lore video when? I'll try and keep my lips zipped, but I'll, I'll say that the lore for this game... The back... It depends what you count as lore. Do you count? Because if you count just stuff that happens before the game, that's probably about half an hour of info. If you happen stuff that happens in the game, there's a lot of like metaphorical and sort of artistic interpretation you can do. In which case, that would be um, maybe another half an hour. So probably about an hour of lore, maybe. Probably just a little less than that. Uh, we can go this way now. I don't think there's much to do this way. It will raise money, at the very least. Um, ask me some lore on a character, I can probably give you everything that I know on them. Uh, and it will probably be the extent of lore that exists for the character, more or less. Could always make up two more hours of fan lore. I would love it. Um, you know what I was saying? Sunflower Plains is the, like, one of the least interesting areas in the game, and it's come so early and it's such a challenge. Yeah, not only that, it also has no lore. <laughs> it's the only location in the game with, like, basically zero lore. The rest of them have at least something. Campbell, I actually couldn't tell you too much about. Um, I haven't looked into him too much. I could probably look in the guidebook to see what it says on him. I didn't know how low on health I was. Oh goodness.
Man, this combat's difficult. There are some windmills in the Sunflower Plains, aren't there? Yeah, so it, it, it is very much suggested that the Sunflower Plains must be like a fallen kingdom. Because there's like abandoned windmills, there's like torn up like farmlands and stuff. But nowhere anywhere talks about it. There's the sun there's a sunflower club for it. Um that's it. Like even the guidebook, which has like a history section on like each location, for Sunflower Plains just says there do be sunflowers. <laughs> Um, I have suddenly messed up my ability to do stunners, so we're just gonna... Cool. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be like an abandoned farm site, but they, there's surprisingly little on them. Like, even Skull Plains has, like, lore uh, behind it. Like, there's a reason why Skull Plains is so, like, messed up the way it is. But, there's the, yeah. Also, why are those chickens just sitting there? <laughs> They're just vibing. Yeah, I wish there was I wish there was something more explicit some flower planes. But at the same time, it is fun to have like uh, Kamora said when he created the lore for this game, he didn't want it to be too like rigid. He didn't want there to be like too much, many answers because he thinks the more answers you give something, the less interesting it gets. Because once you know the answer, it's like there's nothing more to think about. It's like oh okay, I guess that's it. So. Um, the Alpokian monsters invading old Alpo uh, sorry, the old Alpokian areas, I, I think, no, I think old Alpoko is just kind of ruined turnip field and meadow over the bridge and a few others. Like, Skinny Ray's place is old, is like Alpoko before it was taken over, um, for example. But I don't think, but I don't, I don't think Sunflower Plains is suggested to be old Alpoko. The only thing I could really find on it is that one person calls it a secret garden behind the Oni King, uh, behind the Oni King's like throne or something. Anyway, this is a dark valley, uh, and is the source of my nightmares because I, I still, we still don't know what the origin for this piece of music is. <sighs> and we probably never will, and that makes me angry. Oh, there's frickin' Oni in that wall. Hello. Cool. Right, guys, are you all paying attention? Because the randomizer gives us an option that is going to blow your socks off. So usually we're supposed to go through this area, like, like through the middle of this valley and get to the other end where the Oni King is. Um, where the Oni are throwing pots down at us. But because we have a miner, due to the randomizer, we, um, we could maybe, maybe break some things. <laughs> Hi Butch, uh, I recognize your comments, actually. I recognize your username from the nice comments you leave. Thank you so much for supporting the content. Yeah, so as you see, there's a giant uh, rock here that you're only supposed to get through late to go through some secret bonus areas that don't really matter. It's just cool, cool stuff. Um, but uh, now we can do it during the main level. Uh, we could actually skip on it. I, 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 I don't know what, what would happen. You are open. Right, this could get very broken very quickly. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I think there's a hole here. Yep, there is. Okay. You guys can pick that one. Yeah, it depends if the stairs are over there. Uh, are we secrets breaking LKS now? Yeah, so you're supposed to go through the middle of the valley, but because we have the miner, we're actually basically going through the staff entrance and going around the back of the alley where the... to get to the top of the ledge where the Oni throw things down at us. How did you do this? Uh, this is a randomizer, Butch. Uh, usually we are not supposed to have miners, but this is a job randomizer. This is also why we have three Steel Knights. Steel Knights, there's only one of them in the game and they come quite late. But now we have three of them and we haven't beaten a single boss. We can build the stairs here. Right, this is going to- right. <laughs> oh, my days, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is gonna get very weird. 
We don't even need to kill these guys. I just I just got into a killing spree, I'm sorry. Woo! Okay, let's just at least finish these guys off for the minute. Uh, the way you can think of this is, <laughs> instead of going through the level, <laughs> we're going into like the like the staff corridors behind the level where the enemies prepare. Because that's what this is. Oh my! Oh, I forgot the Von exists. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's keep away from that. Okay, a Kyle. I can't do that because most of the other kings are hard coded to have certain events appear first before they do. But there is one that is always available technically in the game's code that if you use moon jump cheats, you can... Oh, please don't eat one myself. Okay, well, we've lost a Steel Knight. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, goodness, I sent the wrong people. <laughs> uh... It's okay, Steel Knights are cheap. Yeah, they're only a million. <laughs> Instead of 30 million. <laughs> right, let's, yeah. Get in, guys. There we go. Um, okay, this is very bro This is so broken. <laughs> that frog just teleported the soldier to its tongue. They they got that tongue going. Uh, yeah, we're not supposed to be up here. We're only supposed to be up here after the Oni are all cleared out. We are not, not at this point. <laughs> How did you randomize the what's the trick? It's a mod, sorry Butch. So we have a uh, this is this is a this is a uh, a mod of the game uh, provided to us by Bedrock 3, uh, which is an alternate way to play the game where uh, every job house gives you a random job instead of a specific job. Anyway, you guys want to see some ghosts? Yeah, yeah, it's one of the uh, first mods of its kind. Anyway, you want to see some ghosts? Uh Stare into that little bay, that little pit there with the fog. Ghosts. Bet some of you didn't know that was a thing. That uh, ghosts come out of this little bay area here. Can we get some more ghosts? Ghost type. Ghost type. Why is that a thing? Because Little King Story is a cool game. Um, I guess we can just get this money as well now that we're here. Yeah, it's just it's just ghosts are like, you know, if I'm gonna be anywhere, I'm just gonna be in the back entrance of an area. So um, here's the thing. Yeah, so <laughs> if you've been paying attention. Literally at Target watching this, lol. Well, I appreciate it. So yeah, we're at the back of the Oni, um, where the- like, We're supposed to be down there, not up here. <laughs> okay, we should- So what we could do, um, uh, is we could drop down the- we could drop down the Annie, uh, 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 the valley and go and fight the Oni King, having not gone through his level that's supposed to lead up to him. Right? However... <laughs> we can also just... go this way... And go to an area we're not supposed to be in yet. So this is some far planes. Uh, can we actually enter the Oni King's arena this way? We probably can. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm gonna try that later. Right, we could probably enter from that way, but I'm gonna try that later. <laughs> We are not supposed to be <laughs> Oh, hey, we can take the top route too. Nice. 
Uh, we will not be able to defeat Dovrock because Dovrock isn't uh, loaded until after you beat Oni King. But we could, we, we could, well, we have the miner now, so. Hmm. My brain's just whirring, like, how far can we take this? Um. Yeah, we beat, we beat the Omni King, guys. This is a totally legal playthrough of Little King's Dog. <laughs> right, we're gonna take the easy route, because we have the Miner, um, without having to do any of the work to get the Miner. Could eat up everything else around the island, then do the Kings afterwards. We can only do so much. We can only get to Bony Tunnel, yeah. Bony Tunnel will be hard locked off until uh, we do Dove Rock and Sheesh. I'm keeping a surprise. I know there's something we can do, though, that I want to keep a surprise because it. it because it, the reason we can do it is for very specific LKS knowledge that you guys will not be privy to. But I know because speedrunners have, like, I have talked with speedrunners who have theorycrafted, like, skips in this game. So I know what we can and can't do due to, like, what's, like, hard programmed. I just want to... Either way, I'm going to come back to Oni King and see if I can go that other route that Bedrock suggested. The secret, yes. Okay, they're all healed up. Let's just wait for the rocks to clear. Oh my gosh, did you see that? What The farmer jumped out of the hot spring and got hit by the rock. <coughs> oh, bless me. This is gonna be such a funny stream. This is gonna be so funny. Uh, also, I'm taking the quickest route through Sunflower Plains. Um, this is the route I took as a kid, and then it's by far the easiest. You just kind of go through these like uh, backfields. Wait a se whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up, hold up. Does anyone see this? Okay, well, there's a, there's a hidden hole here, but usually there's three scarecrows that point towards it, and that's how you can like find out it, like where it is without a merchant. Because you can, yeah, th where are the scarecrows? Yeah, usually there'll be three scarecrows pointing to this. Um, if you don't have a, by the way, if you don't have a merchant but you know where a hidden hole is just because you played the game before, you can always just send any citizen over that spot and they'll find the hole on their own. You just have to know where the exact spot is. I was about to do that because I completely forgot we had the merchant on us. But yeah, it looks like the scarecrows only appear after you beat Oni King. Uh, are the chicken triggered by you? Uh, chicken's here. Hello. We have um, we have a cook, so we can just yeah, <laughs> gone. <laughs> Because uh, we have Merchant, by the way, we're going to be able to get this um, purse up here. So that's nice. Might as well get this as well. Did the Scarecrows go away after the Merchant? No, they're always there. But it looks like they're only loaded by the Oni King's defeat. Which is weird. Also, hello Firefly Lake. Hey, there's the chicken from the waiting room screen. <laughs> uh, this is the exact this is the exact uh, shot from the waiting room screen. This is this is the background to my LKS PC video. Is this here? Yeah. Apparently, the only thing scared them away. Um, this bridge right here. Has anyone ever heard of Stephen Plays, the vl vlogger, who uh, slash. Um, let's play her. Oh, 
one of our farmers just died to the accidental multi-hit attack. Uh, if anyone's ever heard of, has anyone ever heard of Steven Plays, uh, he, uh, the vlogger? Because he made a vlog once saying that he played this game and this bridge made him quit. Because he found th this swarm of enemies just too difficult to deal with. And I remember it kind of upsetting me because I always thought he'd really enjoy the game. Oh my goodness, the Steel Knights. And we're missing one of them and we're still this powerful. Uh, oh, and that melon is very confused. You know what? I'm going to use that to my advantage. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. You'll get back there eventually. Also, I didn't realize that the melons have the same sort of, like, get back to position code as the citizens. Um, it's not that difficult. The main thing with him is he was using Pikmin logic, so he thought he could run away and the bridge would still be this built, but the enemies would stay killed. But when he came back, it respawned all the enemies and the bridge. Because the enemies are directly tied to the bridge. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Oh, I just realized. Um, are, you, are you okay, buddy? If he ate the Giga Carpenter, we'd be very screwed right now. It's fine, Caden. We never needed you anyway. Okay, we're down to nine citizens, so this is this is good. Anyway, let's see. So, what's the what's your favorite out location from LKS? Uh, I should answer this. I think my favorite location is Worry Walk Kingdom. I'm just waiting to see what other people think, but my favorite location is Worry Walk Kingdom. The melon was trying to get back to his patch, but he ran. He, he did a dash attack towards me, turned around to go back to his patch, and then got stuck behind a fence. Also, yes, Pikmin logic doesn't apply to this game. I hate when people blame the game because they try to apply Pikmin logic. Um, but the reason I like Worry Walk Kingdom is I love the music. I think it's probably a top three track for me. Um, I'm just going to wait here a sec because it's about to go evening. Once I hit six o'clock, this place looks beautiful. Um, the... Oh my goodness, he saw me. Oh my damn. Let's run away. But the music... Uh, yeah, the, the music is really cool. Um, I, I like how the gameplay mixes it up, how you have to face it alone. I really like how creepy the signs are in the maze. And I also really like the lore behind the Warrior Kingdom. The Warrior Kingdom has some of the most lore, actually. It's, it, it's, it's quite extensive. <laughs> Probably more than any other kingdom except maybe New Island. New Island might have a little bit more. But those, those two for sure have the most lore behind them. Firefly Lake is a lovely location. Um, Sober Manjaro. Oh, it might be Sober Manjaro. I really freaking like Sober Manjaro. I think it's a, oh, it's so cool. It's so different from everywhere else. Primetime Kingdom doesn't have the best music, but I found the kingdom a little less, a little bit more disappointing. And then the, um, what else? What else is there? I really do like the look of the Jolly Kingdom. Cake Kingdom, Ripe Kingdom. Ripe Kingdom is, um, I do like Ripe Kingdom. I think the aesthetic is lovely. My main problem with Ripe Kingdom is that the gameplay is really boring. <laughs> it's just kind of Dark Valley 2, but with cake. Um, and I just found that a little disappointing. Near New Island, it just feels secret like it should be part of our poker. Yeah, Near New Island just has a weird feel to it. Like it shouldn't exist. Like it feels so wrong and liminal. Yeah, I really like that. Most people don't even know that it's called Near New Island. It's only mentioned in the Uma book. The lore of the Worry Walk Kingdom, um, also, hi, LB. Uh, the lore of the Worry Walk Kingdom is that, uh, I will be talking about this in a video, so I'll sa save some details, but they, the Eggens are from out of space, and they came to this continent 
which I won't spoil the name of, but I also know the name of the continent that we're on. Um, they came to this continent in spaceships, hence why the in the Warry Walk Kingdom there's um, what they called uh, like crop circles on the ground, uh, and they actually arrived before the first humans uh, existed on this continent. So the Eggins have been around for longer than humans. Um, they specifically came because they were protecting, uh, they had this organism called the Diamond Egg that they were protecting from falling into the hands of other alien races. So they came here to hide because this was literally a world with nothing going on, like no human life or anything. So they thought, yeah, we can keep Loki here. Uh, so they did, they kept Loki here uh, and they created a huge civilization, but then the aliens kept coming for them. So then they give the egg to Shizuka, and Shizuka looks after it for a while. Um, yeah, and then obviously Shizuka ends up giving the egg to Korobo at the end of the game. Which came first, eggs or Jumbo? Jumbo came first. When, uh, when I say continent, I mean the whole world, not including New Island, because New Island is technically a different continent. Oh dear me, we're really weak, we so we shouldn't be here. <laughs> oh, good, good block for the new island. What is your favorite place in Okay, Yeah, the princess told. What song is this? It sounds so familiar. Uh, this is the March Militaire by Fran uh, Franz Schubert. Uh, it's remixed for Little King Story. All of the music in Little King Story is classical. Oh, there's an Oni Man! I did not know there was an Oni Man here. I, I legitimately forgot. <laughs> well, he's probably nothing for Steel Knights. Go Steel Knights! We get him! It's getting tense. We don't have a we don't have a whole lot of guys, and also we don't have jump cannons. So, if we want to go back to our kingdom to heal, we have to go all the way back, and then all the way back again because we ca we can't jump back here, which would be very annoying, <laughs> actually. I don't feel like running through sunflower plains again, even if all the obstacles are removed. Um, even, uh, we could, yeah, we could, we could do that and get our three citizens and come back. Oh, but we can't even shortcut to Sunflower Plains. We have to go through the Dark Valley hinterlands in order to do that. Right, Kingdom has a healing spot. Yeah, I know. It's mainly about those three citizens more than healing. Oh, this cutscene doesn't play now. Weird. There's usually a cutscene here that's like, hey, look where you are. Woo. Uh, there's also a healing spot here, which is going to be way easier to access. Uh, anyway, say hi to F Firefly Lake. We're on the other side of it now uh, than we were earlier. I love Firefly Lake. Um, I am at least going to show what happens if you go to Dove Rock, if people don't know, um, if you go to Dove Rock early. And I'll do the same for Sheesh. I forgot about the frog. I looked away for two seconds. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I think that the sensitivity of my remote's a bit off, because for some reason it like either doesn't input or double input sometimes. Uh, yeah. As you see, like I'm switching through jobs like way too quickly. That's like a remote problem for some reason. Man, it must be a huge disrespect to just walk past monsters. That's all I did in my first playthrough. 
I actually missed out on some armor that disappeared forever because it was inside of a monster that I walked past and the monster despawned. There's a little more to it than that, but I'm not going to get too nerdy because I don't think you guys are here for me being nerdy about RKS. That was sarcasm if it wasn't clear, Letty. Normal ones have one horned, honey man two, the king has- The king actually has a five horned crown, but you're right, yeah. The more horns, the higher rank an honey is. How far are you going, OMG? Bedrock, I have a plan. <laughs> oh, I got hit. I accidentally clicked off the stream. Whoops. <laughs> Hey guys, you want to learn how to fight Dovrock? You want to learn how to do an infinite? Just beat up Dovrock to win. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll do that. We'll beat up Dovrock. <laughs> um, yeah, no, Dovrock isn't here. Sorry to break the illusion a little bit. Um, part, party's, party's not started yet. I'm pretty sure the gates are closed as well, so we can't really go any further than this. I actually kind of wish that the um, this kingdom had like a few more obstacles leading up to Dovrock. I think because Sunflower Plains is already such a huge obstacle, they wanted an easy kingdom where the level's really short, uh, just so that people didn't get too discouraged. But yeah, the um. But as a result, it is very short, and the and the only kind of like thematic obstacle there is is one Oni that throws Molotov cocktails at you. Oh, say hello to the only instance of the mystery pot Oni in the game. He can spawn an owl, a flower, or a, yeah, or a cow. And he spawned a flower. Yeah, the king the kingdom's short, I think, just because Sunflower Plains is long, and they didn't want to upset anyone. With how long it is. Anyway, welcome, Corb. This is the Forest Cafeteria. We shall now hold a royal tea party. This news from the Kingdom of Sweets is brought to all guests so they may savor delicious, delicious pastries. Uh, Rod, <laughs> cow. And there's the sign that kicked off the Elpokian project. Uh, it says, "Welcome to the Forest Cafeteria." La donna immobile. And we don't have animal hunters. Well, this is gonna be fun. I really like this song. Originally, by the way, the Blue Dan Noob was going to play here, uh, but like LKS styled. Um, I There is an upload of it on that I put on YouTube if you want to find it. Sheesh Kebab's fine. You, you guys are just bad at the game. He's easy. Just to remind everyone, we haven't beaten the Oni King yet. <laughs> we're, we're in full randomizer jank mode right now. But yeah, this is just very similar to Oni Kingdom, it's just kind of like style after sweets, which I really do like. Um, it's just, that's the only thing I don't like about this area. It does, it, it's, it's the least unique in terms of the obstacles. I thought Sheesh was funny. Sheesh is hilarious. People who don't like Sheesh as a fight have no sense of humor. I am sticking by that. Same with people who don't like Zote in Hollow Knight. I think Zote's hilarious. Also, where's my miner gone? Did we ki did the miner die? Oh, maybe the miner died. The later half of the game is way superior to the first half. Yes, this is why people need to play all the way through. I know it's, I know it's hard to like commit to something where the beginning is kind of weaker, but the second half of this game just gets nuts. I like Zote, no reason. I know your reasons, young man. <laughs> the duality of mods. Sheesh is fun. The intro is chef's kiss. Yep. You've got taste, Markelius. I'll give you that. And we already got some damage. <laughs> 
I really wish we still. Oh no, the miner is here. I don't know where he went. Maybe he got stuck behind something. Go on, go for it, son. I'm proud of you, son. Uh. By the way, this sign suggests that she's she's a cannibal. Or it could suggest that she just likes to name things after Korobo to try and suck her up to him. If you want to know how insane my LKS knowledge is, by the way, um, I know there's a hidden hole here, but the merchant already found it. There you go. Okay, you guys want to see something kind of insane? that map. Nice. Now remember guys, Dovrock's not loaded yet because we haven't beaten Oni King. So don't get, you know, what do you think's gonna happen here? Okay, everyone, take your bets what's going to happen after this cutscene. <laughs> Every time I watch your content, I start off thinking I don't know everything about the game and then I leave knowing I don't know anything. First boss of the game! Let's go! <laughs> and we're doing it with nine citizens instead of like 18 or 23. <laughs> it's okay. I know how to speedrun this game, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> And it's all going to plan. Yes, Mazare, this is why I want people to play the game past the opening. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're playing Bimbo with one person now. This'll be fine. This can't go wrong. This is- this is- this is totally normal. Yes, my last save was ages ago, which is why I probably should have gone back to the kingdom first. <laughs> Yeah. 
Uh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> yes, I'm probably have wasted a ton of progress by doing this. I guess Shish Kababu is a bit effeminate. Um, Mazuro, by the way, the goal of this fight is you have to make him lose weight by using him as a human pinball. Oh, okay. I'll just do this. Oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> this is probably going to be a long night. What time is it, by the way? Is anyone from the UK and can tell me what time it is? Uh... Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Oh, nice. I have work at 8 a.m. <laughs> Okay. I don't think we're gonna win with one person, but we've done surprisingly well with one person this far. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I quit the game on this boss, it seemed impossible as a child. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, we have six people. None of them have any health upgrades that they'd usually have at this point in the game. We're just gonna have to play it very carefully. It it does say fantastic, yeah. I can confirm. I, ha I have the... I have that voice clip in isolation. Should I want to use it as a sound effect in a video, I just never have yet. Ah, okay. There is a way to play this fight that doesn't get you any damage. Yeah, we don't have any children. Children are really good in this fight. Probably for unintended reasons. Oh, flipping it. Uh... Dang it, I didn't quite get it. Oh, that's fine. That works, kind of. No, don't do that! <laughs> uh, children have a glitch where if you, they get hit in this fight, they freeze in place and become like an invincible bumper. Sorry, Josh. Please, 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 some of you just stay up there, just stay up there at the top. Thank you. No! Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. 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 Hi, Jack. Um, yeah, we're, um, we're, so, if you've missed this part of the stream, this is a randomizer. So, we're actually fighting this guy underleveled and before we fought the first boss of the game. <laughs> When you retry, it is not worth it to try and hit it. It goes laterally, wait for him to eat, and then his body... Yeah, 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 no, for sure. But what we're trying to do, the main thing we want to do is we want to get... When Chish Kababu hits the Oni sign three times, then the screen goes black, and that means that we can send... Um... Okay, instant... Oh, I didn't quite get it. Okay, fine. Um, when the screen goes black, we can send people up the middle and they can attack the rock directly. So I want to do that as early as possible because then we can just focus on weight loss and weight loss is easy. I'm really playing this game for the first time since childhood and tried to go through fairly blind again, but after playing again, I feel like my anger as a kid is justified. Um, okay, I'll give you some tips for this fight. Please get him away. We need people at the top of the field. Yeah, there we go. We got a miner up there. Okay, we should be fine. Maybe. No, we just missed it. Ah. Right, okay. Can you see at the very top the rock has like no health left? We just need him to hit it like once. Oh please, come on.
I've never seen a troop named Tiago either. Right, another thing with this fight, by the way, when he becomes a stone form, he will instantly exit his stone form if you hit him with a miner. He enters the stone form in the t if he goes into the hole at the top left. He, But he will instantly quit that if he he's hit with a miner. He will, like, s s yeah. <laughs> we are probably in for a bit of a long night. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, mine is dead, so if he goes into stone form now, we probably just have to leave him. Uh, another thing to keep another thing to keep in mind with this fight, when a citizen is running forwards, um, they will not take damage when they hit Sheesh. But when they are retreating, when they are running back to you, then they will take damage. So if Sheesh bounces like that and hits them like he just did, that's when he does a lot of damage to his citizen. To, to your citizen, sorry. But when... So it's good after you hit A to immediately hit retreat. So then they're not standing around waiting for you to hit retreat. If that makes sense. So like this. Like that. Please hit that. Okay, don't. Not much we could have done there. That's fine. <laughs> it's basically impossible to avoid a recruit from dying in this fight. No, it's 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 pretty difficult. I, it's not impossible. I'm not going to pretend like it's easy. Okay, we got people f up there. Right, they're destroying the rock. While they're destroying the rock, they will stay there until you hit retreat or a cutscene happens like a meeting cake. So now... Oh, yes, okay. Rock is broken. We just need to get him down to 50k. That's actually the easy bit. He loses 100k every time he goes over the mountain, so I'm going to try and hit him down there as much as I can to get him... Um, if he's not down to 50k, like the lowest possible amount that he can be at, he just won't, he won't hit the, the fork at all. He needs, he needs, he needs to lose all that weight first. Uh, every time he eats the cake at the back, he also has, gets 100k, which is annoying, but yeah. This is possible. This is doable. I th I, th I think I've got this. Yeah, there we go. So he loses 100k from that every- uh, 100, yeah, 100 every time. Okay, and now he's back in the hole. Okay, cool. Oh, he came so close to that hole. Uh. Ow. I thought it was just below 100k. It might be. I thought it was exactly 50, but I could be wrong. Oh, yep, he's in the hole again. Okay. He also gets a lot faster when he's lighter, so it's a lot easier to hit him into the fork at the top. Uh, I'm just gonna have to leave that 100k. I'm not gonna get hit. <laughs> I can quick pinball wherever I want, son. <laughs> Stand back. Oh, he came so close to the hole. Ah, no. Right. 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 We can, I can do this. We're okay. We're good. <laughs> Did not think that today's stream would involve pinball. Because we hadn't even beaten Oni Man when we started. Get in there. Please get in the hole. Oh, okay, got in the hole. That's our first death, by the way. Flippin' egg. But yeah, there is, there is strategy to this fight. It's very weird strategy. But there is strategy of that. What does sending Sheesh over the mountains do? It loses him 100k. Just a, a straight 100k. 
He own he does it by entering the cave on the left. Uh, if he enters the hole on the left just above that, he, he... Look look at his meter on the left, by the way. You're gonna see it go down by 100 now. If he enters that hole, he becomes stone, uh, where he's a lot heavier, but he's instantly broken free by a miner. So now we're just trying to get his health, uh, his weight down. We're so close. No! <laughs> we're fine. whenever I want. <sighs> Son of a gun. Oh, he's gonna be so... Ugh, that was a really good run. I was just on too low health. I took too many risks. Sometimes you just have to let him take the cake behind you, because otherwise you're just... You're, yeah. <laughs> Most pinballers quit just before they make the big breakthrough. Anyway, every time he eats the cake, all those guys that just went to the top instantly retreat back, which is a big problem. Yep. Ah, Buffanada. I I don't think this fight's perfect, but I I, I think it's it's fine. Why did people croak? I don't know how they did that. Wait, go up to the top. Where are you going, guys? Oh, why did none of them go up to the top? I was literally stood in the middle. <laughs> You're so close to winning. Yeah, I know. Uh, Oni, uh, the Oni are probably made bigger in this fight just due to the fact that they're so zoomed out. Flippin' heck. Oh, that was a really good run. Well, at least his like, weight's down a lot now. Tiago's died in every single one of these fights. That's because I think Tiago's a farmer who took one damage in the Oni battle just before this. So it was, it was, it was, it was fated to happen. Honestly, the biggest problem here is doing this with nine freaking people. Oh, okay. Let's try and stand in the middle this time. And yes, everyone, please. No, oh, no, they were doing so much damage to it as well. <sighs> yep, yeah, goes death is a cannon event. This might be okay. Oh, he went up. Oh, I already had the miner out. Dang it. Okay. Oh, Letty passed away. Sorry, Letty. <laughs> I heard someone who did this game on tyrant mode, and of their, like, 120 deaths, 60 of them were on sheesh. Oh no, Letty is dead. Anyway. <laughs> hey, do you want to guys see? Uh, there's actually a mistake in this fight. I can't remember how to trigger it, but on the left, for some reason, it keeps loading in an area in and out over and over. How the frick did Aiden die when I hadn't sent anyone out? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's it, yeah. If you stand on the very left here, it loads the area on the left in and out. Uh, I think Sheesh also has to be over there as well to load it in, because he... Sheesh controls the camera somewhat in this fight, so... If I don't... I think the camera's entirely on Sheesh. I don't think he would influence it. <gasps> That's huge. 
We hit him into the thing at the top. Also, I think I only have two people left. I didn't realize that I only have two people left. Oh my goodness, I only have two people left. <laughs> Listen, it was a great idea. I came close, didn't I? <laughs> okay, come on. Just hit the Oni sign. Just hit the Oni sign. You son of a gun. I think you'll just break free from the stone after a bit anyway, so let's just hope. Nope. Okay. Also, this isn't the hardest boss in the game, I don't think. I, uh, it, it, it's- is this- can you even call this a boss fight? Okay, Fork is free. So now with two people, we just need to get him down 100k. Uh, 500k. Okay. The thing with two people, though, is you can't run to the right and just block attacks. Mark Elias, that's because Shish Kababu's a very special boy. Okay, this is the problem. I can't run over... When I'm on one health, I can't run over and just kind of block him. Because I only have, like, two people to work with. So this probably isn't the run, because we just need to get him to lose a lot more weight than I think is going to be possible. Yeah, there we go. That's the problem. Because um, if I send them out, I'm also completely undefended, is the thing. Right. <sighs> so how's everyone enjoying the early LKS game before Honey King? <laughs> How did he not go in that hole? That was the easiest hole in the world. Come on, dude. Please hit that Oni sign twice more, please. Thank you. Now keep him away. Now we send him up the middle. Okay, the problem was because I sent them all up the middle, I had no one to defend me, but it's okay because we got halfway down. Lost people? I didn't even notice. I'm a good king who doesn't notice when his people die. Oh, that just went in. Okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't even know it made a sound effect. That was so clean. Okay, just hit the only sign, please. Thank you. Oh, but there's rocks and oh, but there were enemies in the way, so they wouldn't have been able to make it up anyway. That is tragic. <laughs> Oh, this, that's, there is strategy to this, but I won't lie, it's still a very difficult fight. Yes, I, I'm going to admit, I'm starting to... Hey, hey, we got close earlier. We got closer than most, because I know this game very well. There's nothing you can do in that situation, that was a horrible angle. <laughs> yeah, this is um, going to take a while. <laughs> I think it's a well-designed fight. I still think the fundamentals of RKS are present in it. The fact that you have to, like, retreat citizens, they don't just stand around like that guy just did. It's just... It was never going to be not controversial, was it? Like, really. There we go! They're up the middle. 
We've got quite a few of them up the middle. Okay. They might destroy that then. And then we just need to get them down a few more K. No, please destroy it. Oh, it's one hit away. Oh. <laughs> it's one hit away! So we don't know the weight he needs to win. Oh. Okay, good. Okay, 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 okay. Just needs to be down to 50k. Why do I only have five people? Why do I only have four people? He has to be, he has to be about 50k, I think. Maybe it's just 100k, I'm pretty sure it's exactly 50k. Which is the lowest he can go. So we, we just need to get him down as low as he goes, and then make sure he doesn't eat any cake, and then hit him towards the top of the playing field. And not do that. There was nothing I could have done in that situation. <laughs> See, we are getting, like, close. Are you kidding me? <laughs> maybe, um, yeah, maybe it just needs to be lower than 100k. Maybe. I'll... I, I don't know. There's some... Uh, listen, I don't regularly just tr play LKS and then just, like, go to this fight. <laughs> oh. How do you think the speedrunners feel? There are speedrun strats specifically for this fight, by the way. Hi Sanchez! We haven't fought Oni King yet, by the way. The randomizer meant we could go straight to Sheesh, and only Sheesh. Or Oni King. Also, I'm gonna die again, and then I'm gonna get upset. <laughs> so, yeah, as a result, we're fighting him with only- No, no, we only have nine- we only went into this fight with nine people. Yep, see? You didn't go in. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, we have nine people. We have not fought any king. Just go in the... Oh. <laughs> the thing is, we lose, we do lose a ton of progress if I don't win. I should have gone back to our poker. I just didn't want to go back through some far planes. <laughs> hey, Major Vegas. Um, so we haven't fought Magus, we're playing a mod, a randomizer mod. Because we got miners really early, it means that we could skip Oni King and go straight to Shish Kababu. But we're really under level for Shish Kababu. So this fight is very difficult. <laughs> Make a save state in case you rage quit. Not a bad idea, I've never made one on Dolphin before. Uh, could- I might just keep this open overnight <laughs> and just come back tomorrow. I probably will stream tomorrow evening, by the way. Um, it's probably a good time to say that. Oh, please hit the sign. That'd be awesome. Oh, he did. Oh, cool. And no one went up the middle. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely great. <laughs> Ugh, this is the worst sheesh fight I've ever had to do. I hate this man. By the way, one of the videos I want to make is sort of an Alpharad style, like, Little King story, but with randomized jobs. So... This will be interesting edited content. I'm entering my insanity arc, actually. Okay, he's losing a lot of weight. Um, Sinoni has been hit once. We just need to hit him, hit him, hit Sinoni again. Okay, fantastic. Why? <laughs> Did anyone see that I sent people up the middle, waited to have a few people to throw at him, but he just went left and right so fast that I physically couldn't catch up with the man. 
That was the worst outcome that could have come from that. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's losing a lot of weight. That's good. Never mind. Doesn't matter. There was nothing I could have done that. <laughs> Corobo, just run faster, you stupid. You stupid little man. Every king involved here is my least favorite king. <laughs> Freaking hate all of them. Everyone here needs to sit on a naughty step. Every everyone here, everyone everyone here needs to be choked for their crimes. I <laughs> no, I do like this fight. I want to make this very clear. I like this fight. I actually don't think this fight's too wrong. We are fighting this very under leveled though. I don't think it being under leveled matters too much. I think it's just a hard fight to be fair. Anyway, um, the, what's Mark Elias is talking about Solobo, everyone. Mark Elias tried to do this fight with Corobo only, which is possible because you are, you can just hit uh, Sheesh with the scepter. It is not advised, and he couldn't do it after five hours of trying. Not from a lack of trying, I want to point out. Okay. Well, this is a bad fight. Because we couldn't do anything about the sign on it. How did he not go in that hole? How did he not go in the hole? What did I do? Letty, no one said anything bad about you. Oh yeah, the sign on he does have lipstick and a bikini. I did, I, I did forget about that. I could have, you know, lived on not remembering that detail, but I guess I did learn that detail again. And we lost our miner, so we can't crack sheesh open. Like a little egg. Oh, I hate the rolling rocks. <sighs> Tiago is dead, the run is viable. <laughs> this is awful. Oh no, the sound design in this fight is incredible. I've um I've downloaded most of the sound effects to this fight. Uh to use in videos. I've used them a few times, you might have noticed. Okay, when did I have three people left? I don't remember this. <laughs> okay, well that was I just want to point out, by the way, that I sent two guys down to hit the rocks, and they both just instantly targeted the Oni next to the rocks instead. I don't know why I'm still trying this run. This run is- so, this- this particular run is so dead. <laughs> Honestly, I- Usually, so I've, usually I've been going into this fight with like 18 people and I went in with 9, so that does make a big difference. But even still, I do think that the problem is just that this fight is very random and a bit hard. This fight is a nightmare for me. It's a nightmare for a lot of people. I personally don't think it's that big a problem because honestly, these this fight is quite short. Like, you either die quickly or you win kind of quickly, so it's fine in my opinion. Um, but... I think- okay, can I be real? I don't mind spending a lot of time doing this fight. I genuinely don't. I really like this fight. I think my main worry is I don't want the stream to become boring and repetitive for you guys. That's the only thing that's driving me a bit insane is... Like, the plan was not to do sheesh now. Um, and I don't... Like, the, the plan was not- yeah, the plan was not to do sheesh now. And I- but I think I'm mainly worried about it because... That's kind of gone off at the script a little bit, and I don't want this like stream to be like sucky as a result. Because <laughs> the the meme of let's do shish kebabu first was funny at first, and now that it's no longer a meme and we're just doing shish kebabu first, it's like a real it, like like that that novelty's over, and now it's just shish stuff, and I don't want that to become boring. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Worst case uh, case scenario, I can rip, whip out LKS trivia. You're right. <laughs> Your voice is entertaining. Thank you. This is funny. Keep going. Thank you. 
LKS trivia. Um, screw it. What do you want to know? T tell me, tell me a character, and I'll see if I know any lore about them. <laughs> so here's the thing, Kyle. Uh, it would be, it would absolutely be possible, but we'd have to go all the way through Sunflower Plains again, because we did this early. We didn't have jump cannons, and jump cannons. Um, Jump cannons only come after Oni King, and we could place a jump cannon just outside Shish Kebab's kingdom. We can't do that, so therefore, even if we quit now, I'd have to go all the way through Dark Valley, all the way through Sunflower, and all the way. And really, all I'd get is three people out of, out of it. <laughs> so, and I don't think three people is going to make this fight significantly easier. <laughs> Hi, Amoeban! You've missed a lot! So Amoeba, just to catch you up, we got a steel knight, uh, we got three steel knights from a farming hut, but we also got a miner from the lumberjack hut. Because we have the miner, we could use the staff entrance to the Oni, uh, to the Oni Valley and not have to go through the middle. So we have skipped Oni King and gone straight to Shish Kebabu instead. And that's why we only have nine people on us. <laughs> I think Tiago's about to die. That's fine. That was not the plan. Okay, just make sure he doesn't hit the- we can- this is fine, we just need to make sure he doesn't hit the freaking. No, 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 no. Oh, no, they didn't hit- they didn't get the rock! They didn't get the rock! I just want you to beat the rock and then the rest is fine. It's just about the rock. To be fair, it's just about the rock. If we can destroy the rock at the top, we're golden. Sadly, um, that's easier said than done because it involves sign on the RNG or getting Shish to just hit the rock a bunch of times and it's really hard to get the momentum to get him up to the top of the table. How did you die? I hit A. Oh well. In this case, just use the scepter. It's not that hard, believe me. The timing for the scepter is really awkward in this, because he's very fast and the scepter has a, a, a startup. Oh, just hit- just, just. Okay, no sign on E. Um, uh, yeah, honestly, the game- it's actually really hard to really break LKS. Uh, obviously, this is only possible because of circumstances that aren't usually possible. The mod, I mean. Okay, that was target- Whoa! What was that shot? He came and just hit me three times- Okay, we're going septum- <laughs> He came and hit me once! He came and hit me twice! He came and hit me three times! I'm not, I am not quitting this stream until we have finished this fight. But please, can I just go to the toilet and get a drink? <laughs> if that's okay with all of you. <laughs> um, Mods, please take over and make sure chat is well behaved in like for the next two minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna drink from the toilet. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, I'm just I'm dumbfounded. <laughs> My brother in Christ, you own the street. <laughs> Listen, I'm just being polite, okay? Um, anyway, so yeah. Um, gosh. We were talking earlier about like what's everyone's like favorite and least favorite job classes, and uh, I, I didn't really respond to that. So, like, uh, someone said they really like the chef. Does anyone else have like a favorite job class? Uh, just uh, I'll read your answers when I get back. And a least favorite job class other than the wizard, or if it's the wizard like me, uh, yeah. And I'll just see your answers when I get back.
come back. Oh, it went insane. Okay. Uh, we finally have permanent LKS content. <laughs> Bro, don't do me that bad. Maze, I'm going to have to have a, uh, have a bad behavior for the next two minutes. Time to misbehave. They see me rolling. Well, I guess I'm in charge now. Chef, because it instills chickens. Chickens are annoying. It's very much a check. Like, hey, did you go and get the chef? If you didn't, you have a hard time. But if you go and do that quest, then you have an easier time. Which I kind of like. Centivizers going and preparing yourself. Love the second builder because I never used it and it was really weird seeing it for the first time when, when Zar played it. Oh, interesting. Deadweight is gone. We can all admit our love for NLKS. Never do that around me. Uh, least favourite archers. You are wrong. I fr Archers are my favourite job class in this game. Um, there you go. I'll straight up say it. Uh, I, I like animal hunters the most. <laughs> Um, how can people... Archers I find quite useful because you can really use them to... Uh, yeah, yeah. They can really break some boss fights. Um, don't talk about Pikmin on my stream or I'll ban you. No, I'm kidding. Um, I haven't played Pikmin 4, actually. I haven't finished Pikmin 3 yet. And there's just too many games to play. Uh, Blue Pikmin, best Pikmin. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like Blue Pikmin, to be honest. Hi, General Tommy. Welcome. Um, we're playing an LKS. Sorry, not LKS. We're playing Little King Story LKS, but with a randomizer. But the randomizer meant we could skip the first boss and go directly to the second. So we're fighting the second boss under leveled, and it's very difficult. <laughs> Markelius. Do -do 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 -do. I love Little King Story. Why is the PC port so bad? Yeah, PC port's terrible, sadly. We're, we're, we're currently not playing PC port. Uh, we're playing a, a very legal version of the Wii port. Um, PC port is bad. Yeah, I just did a video on the PC port. Um, that's probably what, what, why you brought it up, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm sorry the PC port's bad. Um, it, it's unfortunate. Crafty Inn is probably the, one of the better jobs. It's one of my favourites, probably top five. Oh, are you brute force through chickens? Nice. Yeah, I guess, uh, Samuel, the Clockwork Knight probably got lost. That's a really cool idea. I hadn't thought of that. Because it is the only wild Clockwork Knight, yeah, that's outside of New Island. Uh, Watty, you have school tomorrow? Well, um, hey, thank you for joining. Um, I have work tomorrow, so I really should go to bed as well. But thank you so much for showing up. And, uh, yeah. That's it, basically. Yeah, good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be just doing another stream tomorrow, so if you want to drop by for that, then uh, go for it. Uh, chefs are pretty useless. Sh eh. People are mixed on chefs. Fire and ice particles kill your frames. Ah, of course. Hello, negative Sanchez's cat. Miners make me mad because they look buff. and they Yeah, miners are actually the slowest digger and the slowest fighter. Like, joined with other job classes, of course. But yeah, they're among the slowest diggers and fighters. Even though Liam says they're one of the better fighters. He's, he's lying, they're not. Um... <sighs> right. That was a nice little break. Now back to... Pain and suffering. <laughs> I hate that angle. I freaking hate that angle. My favourite boss is the final boss. No spoilers for final boss. The final boss is lit. We can't talk about Final Boss for spoilers, because some people here have only just started playing this game, but... Fin Final Boss is sick. Genuinely one of my favourite fights in any game. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hate this boss. This boss is very RNG. Uh, we have been sharing tips on certain things you can do. For example, Shish Kababu... Own... Oh. oh, that was a lucky angle. Um... The final boss is just the entirety of Elden Ring, actually. So the thing with this fight, um, we were saying, is your citizens will only take damage if they are if they are hit by Sheesh while retreating. But while they're running forwards, they won't. So if you hit the B button early, you can actually stop them from taking damage where they otherwise would have. The problem comes in 
getting... Uh, in surviving long enough to break the rock open, which is reliant on that Oni sign. The Oni with the sign there and the bikini only shows up every so often. It's only after defeating him that you can... Or her, maybe. Uh, that you can get... That, you could, that the screen turns black and it lets you send citizens up the battlefield to attack the rock at the top directly. And that is a massive pain. Why did everyone just die? <laughs> so I don't think this is the run. <laughs> I like this boss. I'm really sorry. I really hope you can uh, experience the game past Dorfrock. Um, I'm just wondering if you just need to change your PC settings. Um, there's just there there are some graphical settings you can definitely turn off, like MSAA, multi sampling, anti -ali aliasing, whatever it is. But yeah, if you can do those, it might be better. <laughs> Best PCs looking at AFC score. Yeah, that's true. I think everyone secretly likes this boss, but no one wants to admit it. And there was nothing I could do there. That was just brilliant. Oh, this one's so dead. Why am I trying? Let's get hit. Thank you. <laughs> Ugh. This fight is the, yeah. This fight is the most creative. It's the most Yoshiro Kimura, and for the most part, it works really solidly. I'd say, like, I, I genuinely think it's pretty well designed. It's just still quite RNG dependent. I really don't like those angles where he goes from one side to the other and there's not a whole lot you can do. Do the special units do anything weird? That'd be interesting. Morning, red guy. You have not played this game. But this is not not this is not supposed to happen. Uh, we, we, we have currently we're playing a randomizer mod and we've currently made the game way harder on ourselves. <sighs> ah, I like the fight in its own way, but so many things drag it down. You must be so lucky to defeat this. Yeah. Where is Blue Guy? Blue Guy died. Sorry about that, man. Uh, we were hoping to keep it from you a little longer, but. Okay, cool. They're destroying the rock. So now we just need to keep Sheesh away from down here. Jaden died. That's fine. Okay, cool. Okay. Fastest fork reveal yet. Now we just need to survive long enough to get him down a hundred. Or a thousand or whatever it is. A thousand five hundred. A thousand four hundred and fifty. I, I can't remember. Okay, we don't need that now. Fine, I guess. How is he not hitting the hole? Hit the hole! Sheesh, hit the hole! Right, focus. Okay. We just need to play defense, right? We don't even need to do anything specific. We're just keeping him low and... Oh, no, that's not good. That's really not good. I did not want to get hit there. Okay, don't get hit by the pots either. Oh gosh, he's so fast. Okay. Nothing I could have done about that. He jumped off. He bounced off the rock. Yeah, there was literally nothing I could have done about that. Uh, are you still in that hole? All right, or don't. It's your kingdom. You do what you want, I suppose. Yeah, if you ever want, <laughs> this is yeah. I believe that the former world record held, like the, so the second place world record held by Chi said it was a really good run because he only had two sheesh deaths. 
Oh no, 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 one health. No, 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 one health. No, 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 one health. And only four people. Oh, no, please. I don't like doing this fight. It was funny. <laughs> the, the, the joke's over now. Okay, just like low on health from that. Okay. Do craftings break the rock version of Shish Kababu? I mean, that's a good question, actually. Oh my days. I feel like this is better not knowing what this is supposed to look like. I mean, this fight's pretty normal, it's just we're really underleveled. <laughs> The lower walls were shaped more like a ball, this fight would be so much more fun. Yeah. Go in the hole! No! Why would you do this to me? I'm gonna tweet at Yashiro Kamora and be like, Hey, I love you, man. But what were you thinking when it came to Shish Kababu? Nobody actually do that. I don't want to harass that man. He's, um, he's a great game designer. How did Tiago insta die? <laughs> All right, let's read some comments. Uh, I feel like this is, but yeah, it's a lot of wall. Honestly, I wonder what the relation between the kings are in this world. I wonder that too. Only two of them have a direct connection. Uh, I also, yeah, I w that's the one thing about LKS's writing I think I would really request is just kings referencing other kings. Because there's only like a tiny reference to that being a thing and it's only in the North American booklet. Uh, it suggests that Dove Rock and Oni King have some kind of friendship going on. That was stupid. Who's Tiago? Tiago is just a random farmer that we have who has two health and he keeps dying. the fight that the music's good. I really like the music in this fight. Reset after everyone perishes. We must go for the pure victory run. You are free to do that on your own playthrough, Mazare. Please just hit that. Hit the Oni sign. Hit the Oni with the sign. Hit the Oni sign or I cry. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Uh, except there's loads of rocks in the way, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, no, we've got him. Okay, they're at the top. They're doing it. Let's just stand a few more. Okay, there's just one guy up there. No, I accidentally called him back. Oh, it's it's so Jova. <laughs> Sanchez, you just weren't in the stream for me to clip down and make you a mod. That's That, that was my plan as well. But you joined past that point. <laughs> See, now his health's really low, but the rock's not. It's always this. Is health either really low and the rock isn't. Uh, and the rock's there? Or is health really high and the rock isn't there? We just need both. Deadweight randomized my job. I wish I could, buddy. <laughs> maybe you'll end up a steel knight and you'll be instantly useful to society. Or maybe you'll be a wizard. I mean, that was a. That, I mean, that wasn't too bad. We lo <laughs> the rock took a ton of damage. I mean, at least we have a minor to crack him open. Crack open a cobble with the boys. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Wait, you just killed Sanch. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> That is true. This fight is a sixth slower on the PAL version, which makes reaction times a lot easier. Uh. That wasn't a great run anyway, so I don't mind. <laughs> we were technically close, but it would have been an uphill battle. We only had two people left. Why? <laughs> uh, I think my controller... I, I don't know how to fix it. Maybe someone who's used to Dolphin can. I think the A button just sometimes just doesn't come out. 
And sometimes it double clicks, like with one input. Um, also, you can get the you can press Z in this battle and uh, get the whatever it's called. Okay, cannon event, cool. I try so hard. <laughs> Why didn't you go and get some more troops? Because we'd have to run through all of the back of Dark Valley and all through Sunflower Plains again. And it would only get us three troops. Ow. I will move this all way. <laughs> I just wish I had something more interesting to say. I feel like I can't really say much commentary here that I haven't already done. Oh, uh, this is an awful run, may I add. I think this would have been faster. You know what, guys? You may be right. I'm actually, I was actually trying to actively die just there, but whatever. <laughs> Please kill me. Okay, why is it that he keeps hitting me when I don't want him to and I can't hit my... There we go. Also, that little oops you died thing is also a classical music um, piece. I don't know if people know that. How did Mel... How? How? Guys, stay alive! Just for me, you know? I know you had lives, but... You ever think of the little people? Please don't go in that hole. Okay, cool. That's fine. Yep, see, just there. I hit the A button and it didn't come out in time. Oh. oh, well. This is the only time the A button... Yeah, no, actually this game sucks. Uh, New Little King Story is better because it doesn't have this fight. Never mind, New Little King Story does have this fight. <laughs> I'd like to say New Looking Story actually replaced a ton of boss fights with other fights. And this wasn't one of them. They were like, yeah, perfect, ship it. Ah, oh, I can't hit B to retreat them because they need to stay at the top. Oh, we have to be careful then. Oh, oh, this is good. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. Keep going. Ah, oh, yeah, <laughs> the canon event's not taking place. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just play conservatively now. We just need to... Never mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, look on the left. We didn't get the god memo. Ah, oh, so now we don't know how to do this fight. That's, that's what's going wrong. We didn't read what god himself had to say on it. I could have really done with his advice right now. I am once again asking how on earth my citizens are taking damage. When they are nowhere near him! What was that snipe? Okay, come on. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, nice, Kyle. I'm glad you admitted uh, You can see that, yeah. Okay, we're halfway we're halfway there. It could we that progress could be reversed at any Oh No <laughs> You just lost like three hundred from just one little round at the top. <sighs> that 
that was... Um, Samuel, you are right. I took them down. They're now on a separate channel called Mr. M. Well, that was almost good. <laughs> yes, um, I moved it over, and the process is uh, yeah, yeah. The um, the mu the music on the Mr. M channel is sadly uh, a worse quality, and I am sorry about that. It would take a lot of effort to restore the quality, so it probably won't happen. I still see people on Twitter talk about this game's soundtrack and using the um, Bagmar words. So. I don't think it makes much of a difference anyway, and okay, fine. This king would- yeah, the fight- the fight would- <laughs> Society, if Sheesh didn't eat for so long. <sighs> the run is cooked. You think?! <laughs> yeah, this is a bad run. Once you lose all your people and you don't have a- A rock broken or his health anywhere near zero. For real, for real. Honestly, a save point would help just after not die. Probably. But we don't cheat here on the Deadweight um, show. We're not cheaters. We, 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 we do things as they are supposed to be done. Why does he have a portrait of him with a crotch up his bum? That is a very good question and one that we will never learn the answer to. What? How did the steel knight get all the way over there? How did he get all the way over there? He went, he went so far. He went on a little journey. He does sound like he's cussing. Does anyone else hear that? When he's up there, it sounds like he's going like, oh heck, but not quite saying heck, if you know, if you know, what, you know what I'm laying down. Why am I still bothering with this version of the fight? This this is a really bad run. <laughs> you know what? This is a knowledge run. Um, oh, Letty's still alive. Yeah, let's just have one Steel Knight run up the middle and yeah, that'll work out. That'll be fine. Oh, we finally got him down to 50k, guys! Finally got him down to killable percent. And it doesn't even matter. Hi, Amir. Mia, if this is your first time seeing this guy, how do you know what looking story is? Like, what's your introduction to him? Have you played the game but never beat it, or have you just watched my videos? I I'm genuinely curious. I don't know how people, like, get into looking story. Or is it Maya? I hope I'm not saying your name wrong, sorry. Yeah. Uh. Alright, see you, Samuel. Um, enjoy your writing process. Hey, Mark Elias. <laughs> we do things the way we're supposed to be done. You have three clones of one dead guy. There we go, yeah! Uh, pinball! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Center attack! Woof woof! Center attack, go! I got two hits of Scepter Attack. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> but yeah, Mia, if this is your first time seeing the guy, um, how did you learn of Little King Story's existence? Um, and how much of the game have you seen? Oh, I forgot Mia's Sanchez's cat. Okay. So I think I know who that is. <laughs> right.
I no longer care about the minor strat. I just, I just, I just, I just don't hate it. First one was right, but I kind of watched on and off when my partner played and then just see it on socials. That makes sense. Um, to be fair, I tr I think people just try to forget this thing exists. So yeah, we don't post about it. What happens in Little King's story stays in Little King's story. <laughs> Can you please hit the only sign again, please? Thank you. Okay, we've got a miner on the... Well, we've got people on the rock. That's good. If they can just stay there, that'll be brilliant. Oh, no, they're not staying there. They're not staying there. I could tell from that angle. I could tell where that was going. Ugh. Carbro, can you not just run up the battlefield and hit the frickin' um, rock yourself? Wow, this run sucks. This is not a good run. I should probably just call, call it in here, but... We can try! He's about to hit Oni sign though, so... Yeah. Never mind. He went from hitting him to immediately going and eating. <laughs> Thank you, Amoeba. I'm glad you remember that. And also, I I like that pun. Very uh, the the Pepperidge Farm pun. Very good. <laughs> Loads world. Yeah, this one sucks. <laughs> You know what's the worst part? I thought, oh, I'm really good at this game. This run, th th this fight won't take too long. And easy mode wouldn't even help that much because all it does is make the rock go down quicker and that's not a make or break, I don't think. I, I've given up on this run. I just don't know what to do because I'm somehow on full health. Oh! Rock's open! Hello! <laughs> if I knew the rock was gonna open, I wouldn't have just let all my men just die just then. Oh, goodness. Uh, okay. Can we get him down to 50k? With only four people left. Can we get him down to 50k with only four people left? Probably not. Can we get him down to 50k with only four people left? Can we get him down to 50k with only three people left? <laughs> oh, only three people left. Oh, you know what? I'm going to start saying I'll give up on a run just as it starts and see if that helps my luck. Just lose weight. Please. I just want you to be skinny for your own health. And also so that I can, you know, commit a war crime that is not possible until you lose some weight. More like... <laughs> I know all about weight. It's in my name. Oh, okay. Okay, my man's gone on a journey. Okay, we're getting closer. <laughs> My weight loss journey. Wait, the number is his weight? Yes, we're helping this man lose weight by um, hitting him around a field pinball style. And if he gets to 50k, then we can take over his kingdom. But we also need to stab him with a fork, which we can currently do, which is nice. The fork has been unlocked. The only problem is we only have one person left to do it, and... Yep. We're getting closer! We're gen- we're not as far off as, we, like, it feels. It's just a very random fight, is the problem. The number was 1,200. He's a very fat man. I'm sure he got bullied for it a lot at school, so please just be careful. Alright. We're helping him on his weight loss journey. 
And then after that, we're going to stab him with a fork, and we're going to take over his kingdom. <laughs> Thank you. We weren't even supposed to be here. We were supposed to we were supposed to take over someone else's kingdom first, but here we are. How did he go into the hole that time? Chill fruit, you've not understood. We have not fought Oni King yet. I don't think you've been here, Chill Fruit. We have not fought Oni King yet. The randomizer has let us come to Sheesh, but I didn't expect him to be this hard if I'm severely underleveled. <laughs> Oh shoot, I forgot we need to get the fork. And it doesn't matter. Because chill fruit, I'm, a de I'm an LKS master and I can use randomizer knowledge to do things otherwise impossible. I literally did this on purpose, I just didn't think it would be this difficult. <sighs> I was trying to cycle through job classes for the miner and it didn't work. Okay. Who am I trying to convince? Convince of what, Sanchez? What am I trying to convince? That I'm good at LKS? I don't need to convince you of that. Look at this stellar gameplay that you're seeing before your very eyeballs. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. They would literally hit in the rock as well. I just needed to hit him back. Ah. <sighs> I am Sanchez's cat. Yep. Yep, you are. Are you kidding? That was a really good run. That was actually a pretty good run. We got his, we got his KG down a ton. Um, oh well. Hey guys, you remember when I told you I ate a fortune cookie before this that said you'll be the best in your business? I don't feel like I am the best LKS player right now. And I know that's not my fault, but damn does it feel like it. I was expecting this to be done so I could sleep. I have- I start a shift at 8am tomorrow, and it is 11pm. I am working in 9 hours. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> okay, dude, genuinely explain how you skipped Donny King. Easy. So, one of the randomizer buildings gave us a miner. We used the miner to go through the staff entrance to the Oni Kingdom. This meant we didn't have to go through the middle of the Dark Valley, and we could go up the, uh, sort of top of Dark Valley. After going up the top of Dark Valley, we, um... Oh, gosh. Sorry, I'm concentrating. How did they all get hit up there? You guys suck. Anyway, after going uh, after going up the top cliffs of Dark Valley instead of through Dark Valley, we dropped off the side into Sunflower Plains. We went through all of Sunflower Plains and went to the Jolly and Ripe Kingdoms. Now, I did know this, but chat didn't, that the um, Dove Rock won't be loaded until after Oni King, but for some reason, Shish Kababu is loaded always in the game. He's always loaded. So, using this knowledge, we are able to fight him early. And that is how we are able to fight him before... Uh, sorry, before Anna King, yes. Well, that could have gone bad. <laughs> He's actually lost a fair bit of weight. Um, I don't know. I think the only thing is, I don't feel like I've gotten any better at this fight. The problem is, I sent so I sent a guy all the way up to the top, so I couldn't retreat them. But because I couldn't retreat them, they kept getting hit. And also, he, hit. who in this kingdom is enabling this man? Um, so apparently, he actually made this kingdom out of cake. It's so this is according to Sheesh. 
by the way. All the lore around this character is just according to basically him and his secretary, who is not in the character in the game, he, she's a character from the lore book. Anyway, basically, he this is quote-unquote the land from which all life sprung. So it's literally like a Garden of Eden. And he took it over and made it into a kingdom made of cake in order to uh, just eat a load of food. But also he started a cafeteria business to make other kings like join him so he could like build his connections with people. Um, and he invited us here like, hey, I want to see what your deal is all about. This one is so dead. Why am I bothering? Anyway. <laughs> this is a good run. Um, all right, I'll see you, mate, niggas. Yeah, so he literally, yeah, so, so he found this place. He made a kingdom uh, full of cake. Uh, the idea is it's a cafeteria that's supposed to invite, like, higher, higher up, like, kings in so that he can, like, grow, grow his network. Networking's important, kids. Um, but the, but he got greedy and ate a ton of the cake. He wouldn't let his wife eat the cake. So she divorced him, um, and then she actually started secretly eating the cake. But then she became so uh, fat herself from it that she uh, actually got herself stuck in his secret stash where he was keeping it and couldn't escape. And that's the lore of the Ripe Kingdom. <laughs> Bro, just surrender and get back to the Oni King fight. <laughs> But isn't it so much funnier if we do this guy first? No! I retreated them by accident. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's so bad. That could have been it. This could have been it. I hit one button wrong. Is there anywhere I can look at the lore book? Does someone post it? Yes, you can, but it's all in Japanese. So you need... Um, you can probably get a Google Lens and get most of the info from it, but... Yeah. Um, specifically what I said, the, uh, the bit about higher-ups, he wanted to... Uh, he also wanted to expand the cafeteria business, but uh, he had to abandon that for, um, for some reason. Like, it wasn't finished. That bit comes from the lore book. Uh, everything else about his, like, wife and everything is from the game itself. That's okay, my hamster speaks Japanese. Brilliant. Just ask your hamster, like, hey, what do you think of Little King Story lore? And he'll say, like, ah, man, I wish, I wish the kings would mention each other more. Make the world feel more connected. Also, Dead, Deadweight's best video was the Scepter one, but it has the worst audio quality, so no one's ever watching it. Yeah, no, Shish Kebab had a wife, but he wouldn't let her eat any of his cake, so she divorced him, and then ate, the, then snuck into a secret stash to eat the cake herself, behind his back, and then got so fat that she couldn't escape the secret stash. Funny you said, mentioned that. You said that like yesterday. Oh, that's great, man. I'm glad your hamster's a massive fan of my work. <laughs> okay, he's going on a little run. Okay, I hadn't noticed I was down to one person. That's a bit... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've hit A twice there and it only registered the second time. That, that makes this fight quite hard because it is quite precise. Um, I, I, I don't know what that's about, to be honest. Come on, one health citizen, you can do something. Told you. Yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't update the um, unit of measurement either, because the sign that says danger is different in 
different regions. So in the the sign that says the sign that says danger in the top left says peligro in Spanish, and um, uh, and maybe it says uh, it says something in the uh, French like dangereux or something. But I can't remember what it is. All right, step to time. Let's go. Woohoo! Okay, I missed. <laughs> How how it's dolphin? Are you yeah, I'm using a real weed remote. I'm actually using a Wii remote for this. I'm not even joking, I can I'll, I'll send it to the LKS Discord. I can, I'll send my stream setup to the LKS Discord. You have to go into your window settings, but you can use your Wii remote for basically anything on a computer. You just need to set it up via Bluetooth. And most things won't be looking for Wii Remote Bluetooth, but Dolphin does. Okay, okay. Okay. And the signs only translate after he first eats, then, uh, until then it's all in English? Really? That's weird. That sounds like a weird glitch. Wii Remotes get busted really easily. Okay, I'm back. How's it going? Oh. Yeah, no, Bedrock, I'm not gonna lie to you, mate. Um, Because this is your mod, I blame you for this. I really think you should have balanced this fight better. <sighs> it's the angles, man. I can set up the next release. I think in the German translation, the sign stayed German after he eats. That's good. We can always check that. I just didn't think that was a thing. Um, probably because I speak... I played this game in English and Spanish, but because I speak both those languages, I probably didn't notice it changing, because I was just like, oh yeah, it's my language. Or a language I speak, you know? All right, no hitting B. Okay, everyone died from that, but we didn't hit B. It doesn't matter anyway. Every, everyone at my end died, so it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't even matter. The English translation is probably better, but less funny than the Spanish one. But the lore is a lot more consistent. It's still not like perfect, to be honest. Like, every Little King Story translation has some kind of problem with it that's quite big, unfortunately. The Italian translation sucks. I've play played it just to, like, get some info for the wiki. And the... yeah, no, Italian translation is garbage. <laughs> I was just gonna straight up say that. Um, they call soldiers and mounties soldats. I think is what it is in that language. Or Soldado, or whatever. Anyway, point is, Mounties and so Grunt Soldiers are called the same name, for some reason. And also, so are Carpenters and Craftians. So they're just more different job classes that have the same name. Oh! Oh, look, we're getting close! Oh, hello! Hello! <laughs> I can't leave until Deadweight wins. <sighs> One day more. Another day, another destiny. This will get copyright striked, I can't sing that. I'm not used to being live, uh, I have to point out. Um, I, my pl I'm, I'm actually not- I don't feel very confident being live. I'd just like to say, like, speaking to myself in a room feels a bit odd. And that's why Mazare was on the first stream. And then he was like, hey man, I don't want you to feel like you're unable to like just be yourself live without other people. Because I think you're plenty entertaining and you could keep a stream going on your own. And I was like, I don't think I could. And that was the point of this stream. It was supposed to be me showing, yeah, you know what, maybe I can do a stream on my own. Maybe maybe I can commentate on my own, it'll be fine. I don't need to bounce off other people. I can, you know. I'm a good content creator. Doesn't matter, because any confidence I have has been ripped apart by this obese maniac, but you know. <laughs> yes. 
Oh no. No, 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 no. Why would you do that? Yes, like, um, please to wait. I have a family. This guy's gonna perish live. This guy will die. I have decided. His fate has been written. Oh, he didn't go in the hole. Why was I looking for miners? Please hit the thing. <laughs> you kidding me? We've made no progress in this. How long is this one we going on for? And we've made no progress. We've still got all our citizens, but the rock's not been hit at all. She's just lost barely any health. I've just, I'm just wasting time. I'm going the same. Yes. Yes, <laughs> what was bro cooking? What was that? That was really good. He hit the rock a ton. I don't know if people realize we're trying to break a rock open at the top of the field so that we can um, get, uh, unlock a fork to stab him with. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're doing. And he just and he just did it for us. Oh, we just got the sign. Um Why did no one go up the top? Please, someone. Oh good. Okay, someone's doing damage up there. Okay, but they died. Okay, and now we're doing bullet hells. What was that? What was any of that? The f it just went from a really good run to over in seconds. It has no health at the top. Look at it. Hit it once. Oh, hit it, hit it twice, I guess. Okay. We have two people. We're not going to be able to lose 500 health with two people. Uh, 500 kg with two people. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. Oh, no. Right, let's have a look. You ever try to stream LKS to tyrant mode and randomizer and game set to French for the ultimate experience? Mm -hmm. Yep, please just stay up there. No, don't come back down. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I am not super good with live streams, but you're doing super good. You're doing brilliantly, my dude. You can. Dude, just keep it loose. You're doing fine. Chill for it agrees. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Finally, you found another entrance to Oni King. Listen, you. <laughs> uh, 15 minutes ago. Doing amazing at everything. I literally have no investment in this game and I'm still here. You know what? I do actually really appreciate that. There's actually quite a lot of you here. I know how hard it is to get viewership um, when you're indie. So, yeah, no, I get it. This, this boss on the PC thought is insanely funny because the broken physics. It is. Oh, is the concept on the floor to explain how you can... It might be, you know. You have triggered my PTSD by putting this on my YouTube. Hey, uh, Gold God of Ace Attorney, I'd just like to let you know that we have not fought Oni King and we're fighting Shish Kebabu before Oni King through randomizer shenanigans. Yes, Samuel, we're still doing this. We've gotten close a few times and then it's just all falling apart. <sighs> Barfinada. You guys want to play Hollow Knight? <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> he, he bounced downwards. He didn't bounce away. He bounced inwards. Why did he bounce inwards? Why did he bounce inwards? <laughs> I don't have therapy for another three days. <laughs> Please just hit him again. Oh, oh, not. Where are you? Oh, please. okay. He 
He's not fat, he's just big boned. Oh, and I can't even hit him properly because of the rocks. Oh no! Oh, and it doesn't matter. They were so close to breaking the rock as well, but there was nothing I could do. I mean, even I never said I was on cocaine, I said Cocodamol. Get your facts straight. Cocodamol's a painkiller. Specifically if you have really bad, like, joint pain. Where are you going, you man? Where are you going? Go somewhere else. Why are you always down here just as the sign appears? I need... I... Yes. Yes, farmer, please. Oh, mama. Oh, mama, please. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to read through a ton of these comments in a sec, but I'm in... Co right, concentration mode. Four people. Can we get him down? We have such a long road ahead of us. Three people? Where did one of them go? Where did he go? Where's my man? Where's my buddy? Where did he go? Where, where is it? Oh, shoot. Oh, there's... There's literally... There's nothing I can do in a lot of these situations either. Oh, oh, he just went through me. Okay. Dude, you need sleep. You're doing great. It's insane. You have stuff to do tomorrow. That's true. I might legitimately just leave the game on and come back to this tomorrow evening. Or even, like, tomorrow early afternoon and just give myself as much time as possible. I know a lot of the Americans won't be awake or people will be at work. I get that, but I think it is what it is. I don't think people mind missing this. Okay, I don't think we're, I don't think we're losing 500 kg. Solar bow it, man. Am I on one HP? I'm on one HP. Surgical precision. The worst part is, is that we're weirdly close here, but there's still nothing I can do. Oh, he really hit me from all the way back there, huh? Boom, boom, boom. You guys been talking about the German translation? Yeah, it's not very good. Looks a bit brain, brain dead pinball machine. This is your second stream and you're better. We're catching up with chat the most, thanks. Uh, still probably e easier than Tyrant mode. No, the Tyrant mode version of this sounds awful. YT from A to Crazy <laughs> The Hundle. <Underworlds. laughs> I'm a broken man, I am. Um, yeah, you, you, you can clip on YouTube. Uh, you can clip just regular videos as well, by the way. Because that's all streams are. They count as just regular videos. It's just they're being uploaded as they're being done, I suppose. Um, found that joke especially funny because my dad uses both the medicines you mentioned in the video. <laughs> Dude, you need sleep. Yeah, I know. You're doing great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Was it really a merchant? Wow. Strong merchant. Samuel, I think Recycle King is supposed to be a pun on recycling. But I I, I am also very confused about that name for Jumbo Champloon as well. Jumbo Champloon's name is a reference to uh, a certain type of stir fry, by the way. I probably will get some sleep in a bit. What time is it? Okay, it's half eleven. Yeah. Fine. If I beat him within the next half an hour, I can go straight to bed and still get seven hours sleep. Woo, let's go. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, all of Alkaeus' character names are references to food, by the way. It's just some of them are either lost in translation or really obscure. Oh my goodness. Oh, see, see, this is what I mean. He's lost a lot of health here. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I didn't get onto the top. That sucks. Watch True Mark Elias. Oh, that was good. Wait, this is a good run. This is a good run. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ripe Kingdoms where all life comes from, hence where it's all food names. That's that's clever, actually. Good joke. It just sucks that I didn't get anyone up during the Oni sign. You're not guaranteed an Oni sign. Yeah, every single- uh, so even Oni King seems to be a reference to Oni Ramen no Noodles, um, which is like a brand in Japan. This could be wrong, that's just me who thinks that that's what's the- maybe the case. Um, Dovrock is a reference to Dobaroku, which is a type of sake, which is like a really strong alcohol. The kind of alcohol you don't drink because it's so strong, you either take a shot of it or put it in cooking. Um, TV dinner is obviously a reference to like TV dinners, like microwave meals. Uh, shish kebab is a reference to shish kebabs. Omelettes is a reference to omelettes. Long sauvage is a bit lost in translation. It's supposed to be a combination of sauvage, like the hairstyle, and soba, like noodles. Hence soba manjaro. In the Japanese translation, it's uh, rongu sobaju, which means that it's a really clear reference. Um, to no soba noodles, but yeah, it was lost in translation uh, because V and B are the same in Japan, but not here. So yeah, uh, soba manjaro is supposed to really be sova manjaro, or long sauvage is supposed to be called like long sauvage. But yeah, um, and then jumbo champloon is a reference to champiru, which is a type of yeah. Campbell is a reference to Campbell's soup, but in the Japanese version he's called Tonkotsu, which is a reference to uh, ramen, hence why he talks about ramen so much. Then, who else? Skinny Ray is called Gadi Gadi Rei, which is a reference to Galileo, but also Gadi Gadi is, can either mean skinny or it's a type of rice. Um... Um, all the princesses are uh, references to like cocktails, apricot fizz, bouquet is a reference to the smell of wine. It's like described as like a bouquet. Where did he go? <laughs> yeah, you should get sober tomorrow. Also, we got him down to 50k finally, but we didn't open the freaking uh, rock at the top. It's better to clear rock early. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be an absolute nightmare to do it, to clear the rock now. It's basically Jova. Uh, especially with only four people. No, oh, retreat, retreat. I hit retreat, I promise. Yeah, we're just relying on sign on you now. Or if he gets stuck in the corner like he did that one time, that'd be nice. <laughs> oh, he's so freaking fast! Uh, what else? So yeah, um, spumoni is, I, I think, a type of Italian drink, because spumoni literally means, like, frothy in Italian. Um, okay, well, thank you. Sign on me. <laughs> Uh, Shizuka is a type of drink as well, but it can also mean, like, of the stars, I believe, which is why she was named that. Okay, we have someone at the top clearing the rock. Oh, oh. That was very close. 
That was very, very close, actually. We can do this. We got this, guys. We got this. We got this. Um, Ferne, uh, Ferne Branca is literal is literally just the name. Fernet Branca is a is a is a drink. Um, so it's Martel Daisy. It's a reference to a type of brandy. Um, let me see if I can remember some others. Hausa Oregano Stein is a reference to Oregano, but also the Hausa people. Uh, maybe the Hausa tribe, I think, is African, and they're known for really good cooking. So Hausa is a style of like food. H a u z a. Uh, Verde Sioux is a reference to sous chefs and like like salsa verde. Liam Rice is a reference to rice, but also Briam, which is uh, like a Greek dish. Corobo is potentially a reference to a slow cooker in Japan. Um, yeah, I think that's most of the main cast. But there you go. King Breadmaker. Okay, well, we're down to. <laughs> um, I do remember Matt Sheeb being a, a name of one of the German character, uh, TV Dennis German name, yeah. I put most of the regional names on the wiki um, a long time ago, before fandom got really bad and I just was like, maybe not. <laughs> it's funny how no progress has been made. This is very much it. We've lost one citizen and lost two health. Yeah, nothing really happened there. Right, one, come on, let's do, let's do it. We can do this. I'm not going to do it too much longer, I promise you, Maz. Uh, I am tired. I can hear it in my own voice. Um, I have work tomorrow. I have a six hour shift and no break, so that's fun. How did you miss? <laughs> oh, come on. Sign on me. Sign on me, my beloved. And it doesn't even matter because this will cancel the sign. <sighs> I've been on this for an hour straight. Have I actually? That's wild. I'm probably going to be on an another two hours straight tomorrow. Yippee, I love my life. Why have I done this to myself? Oh, my life is flashing before my eyes. I feel like I've actually gained prescience, like, Paul Madib style, by accident. I just closed my eyes and saw things that I will never unsee. <laughs> to kill she, she must become she. I must become the most hated man in the talking story. BV man, I can't explain to you just how terrible this is. Yeah. It's only no, we've only been at the boss for an hour, I think. When did we start this boss? Um, so BV man, we haven't fought Oni King yet. 
Now, usually in Little King's Story, you, you have to fight Oni Man first. Right? But through the randomizer, we could take an alternate route. And the alternate route meant that we could um, go and fight Shish Kababu first. The only thing is that we are a lot weaker than most people fighting Shish Kababu first. So, we have been doing this with nine people instead of 18 or 23, as you usually would. So... Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, the jobs that I have don't really matter for this. This is just Shish Kababu stuff with less people. Oh, wait, Steel Knight just got two shields in a row, let's go! Oh, he wants this run to happen. You know what, yeah, we'll make this run happen, boy. As long as you can somehow defend back here and defeat the rock at the top at the same time. According to the stream, you've been at this for an hour and 40 minutes. Average, average shish kebab fight. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I have beat some of the radiant bosses on Hollow Knight with less hours than this. I beat a Blobbles in like 20 minutes. Hitless. Heck, I think it only t maybe it only took me like two hours to beat Pure Vessel once. I don't know. Not on Radiant, though. I haven't, I haven't done Ascended. How did you do this as a kid? Well, you had at least 23 people, Amoeba. <laughs> Alright, one more run. Alright, I'm actually calling it one more run. And then... And then reflecting on my life choices. Which I forgot to put in the stream title, but it... Pff, when he goes sideways, there's nothing I can do. I'm head out. Chill, we're about to end anyway, don't worry. Radiant Mossy is not bad at all. Radiant Mossy is very fun. You just hit the A button rhythmically to the tune of uh, Through the Fire and Flames by Dragon Force and you win the fight. Or is it the Y? It's the Y button. I don't know how to play Hollow Knight. Well, the Hollow Knight has some really fun Radiant fights. Um, I really enjoyed... It took me ages, but I did quite enjoy Hornet 2. Chill. Oh, we've just decided this is the run. Oh, thank goodness. I'd be really sad if it wasn't, so you better be right on that or I'm suing. I'm not suing. For legal reasons, I'm not suing. I'm not saying on stream that I'm suing someone. Thank you. Uh, I keep sending chefs up there and chefs can't do anything about the... How? Wait, wait. I sent a miner up there. Where did he go? Where was he go? Where did he go? He was, ha he was hitting the rock. Where did he go? Where did my mans go? He just disappeared. Oh, all, so all my men are dead. All my friends are dead. Tiago wins on the successful run. On this I could probably check if he does as well. Oh my goodness. He was hit off by the only man at the top. I, uh, right, okay, that makes sense. I, I think I, I, I figured it must be that. I just didn't see it happen. I thought he was safe because the Steel Knight was hitting the Oni Man. Which just feels a bit insane to say because Steel Knights aren't supposed to be in this fight. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, this is the run. There we go. And now he's going to hit the Oni Sign. He didn't hit the Oni Sign. Now he's going to hit the Oni Sign. He missed the Oni Sign. Ha! Who did you miss the Oni Sign every single time? Okay, what was that? What was any of that? Excuse me, excuse me. Can, can we just... He Matrix dodged everything I wanted him to hit. Okay, okay, I'm still I'm still here. Um I'm gonna save state it. Let me just figure out how do you do that on Dolphin. Uh I might just leave this on my laptop and then just go to bed. Um How do you save state? <laughs> uh 
I know there is a way to, I just forget where it is. Is it tools? Oh, no, here it is. Save state. <laughs> Check DMs, thank you. Okay, right, we'll do that then. I'm pr I'll, I'll just leave it just in case. I don't want to do all some far planes again. Um... Oh, just save slate to slot. Yeah, slot one. Okay, let me have a look. Yeah, no, that looks good. Um... Okay, let me read a few things you said. <laughs> um... <sighs> this is very hard on unintended. Yeah, it does not help the only have one miner. Yeah, miners would be good for this. I think the other thing is, people with high health would be good for this, and I have, like, freaking farmers. <laughs> they were not built for physical labor. <laughs> Alright, this was supposed to be a short stream as well. I was like, yeah, you know, I'll just do a few things and then I'll go to bed. Um, I didn't think I'd be fighting Sheesh from an hour and a half ago. I... I don't want to say, by the way, Considering I literally just, like, didn't give anyone notice I was doing this other than Mazare, Letty, and Sanchez, I think. I think we're the only ones that knew. I just booted the stream on. A ton of people have joined. I have to say thank you. Thank you so much that all of you who have just been like, Oh shoot, Deadweight's streaming on a Sunday night. I have work and school tomorrow. I'll still show up for it. Like, thank you. Genuinely. It means a lot. I never expect that to happen. And here we are with... 13 current viewers. Uh, yeah, I had a... F genuinely, even though Sheesh Kebab was insane, let's be honest, it's good content, right? Like, Sheesh Kebab is good content. <laughs> That's why more people need to play this game. I got a 9-11 KG death. <laughs> nice. Wait, not nice? I don't know what to say to that. And you have work at school and you're blessed to watch death. Yeah. Well, yeah, from like two o'clock mid afternoon tomorrow, um, I'm free. I'm not, so I might start streaming this early. Probably not like you know immediately, maybe like five p.m. my time, and then hopefully after a few hours when people can actually watch it in the evening, I'll have beaten this guy. <laughs> Death compilation when I was hoping to turn this into a cut down video, um, in the future, but I don't, uh. Don't know how I'm going to cut this one down. This is my top thing when I open YouTube. Nice stream. I look forward to it more. Thank you. Um, I hope to have more fun with the randomizer. I'll play until a point where it's like... I probably won't beat the game on randomizer. Uh, simply because there'll come a point where it's not that interesting to have it randomized. Because by the end of it, we'll have all the stuff when we should anyway. So the only difference will be that we'll have a ton of Steel Knights, really. That's... That's not a bad idea for an edit bedrock, thanks. So I could beat the game with a bunch of Steel Knights if I wanted. But other than that, I think I'll probably call it in. Uh, in terms of other streams I want to do, uh, you guys will be the first to know. I kind of want to do a new Little King story stream. Because at some point in the future... Uh, a stream? So like a series of streams, sorry. At some point in the future, I need to do a video on New Little King story. And I need footage for that. So I'll just stream it, right? I also have a plan also with stream. Will be a good moment with the anniversary moment. Yeah, dude, um, if you want to just, like, stream on a channel or in Discord or whatever, let me know, and I'll just give you a small shout-out. I genuinely think that a new Little King Story stream would be very fun, because no one knows the game. No one knows that game, and I could show you so much wild stuff in it. Does New Little King Story have a YouTube category thumbnail? No, it is just counted as Little King Story on YouTube. So, there you go. You want to? You want me to play New Little King Story? I'll play New Little King Story all the way through. Uh, I thought this would be a faster... Overall, I didn't... <laughs> the first stream we ended up grinding a ton, and the second stream we've been stuck on Sheesh. Um, I can blast through LKS. I just didn't expect... <laughs> I just didn't expect so many holdups. 
<laughs> I didn't expect so many roadblocks. I was like, this will be a short series. I can beat LKS like in three hours. It's been six hours. We've not beaten a single boss. <laughs> yes, hi Zask. Um, great to see you, buddy. Uh, I've missed you, by the way, because we've not seen each other in a while. Um, yeah, we're playing a randomizer and a mod, and because we're playing that, we could get to Shish Kebab before Oni King, but it but in doing so, I went into Shish Kebab horribly underleveled. I thought, even though I'm underleveled, I'm really good at this game, I'll beat him really quickly, and then we'll carry on. And people will be like, oh my gosh, I usually find that fight really hard. But no, this fight's really hard for me, and I've been trying to do Shish Kebab for an hour and a half, with only nine people, instead of 18 or 23. So yeah, this is this has been quite the the stream. We're about to end the stream, uh, Zask. Because I have been fighting Shish Kebabi for an hour and a half with only nine people. <laughs> and I haven't beaten Oni King yet. <laughs> uh, I've been good. Um, dude, honestly, I've had a really good week this last week. Um, I have to say. The video is now on like 2.5 thousand views. Um, which the last video in its first week uh, was only on 500 in that time. So, it, it took like half a year for the last video to get to that number, and it's taken just a week for this one. So, I'm really happy. LMAO, where's the next stream? I'm streaming tomorrow evening. Um, I'm going to start earlier. I know more people- I know people won't be able to join, like, early Monday evening, but I don't really mind because I'm doing this, and this is going to take a while anyway. But yeah, so just at any point tomorrow evening, I'll I'll be here playing this game. How does that sound? Yeah, I I think it went really well. I do. Really, this is my first time solo streaming. I I'm pretty happy with it. They say acting is reacting, and boy, was there a lot to react to. <laughs> Hopefully, it can take six hours so I don't miss it. Uh, yeah, Zyusk, um, you can watch, you can watch this back. You can uh, watch the vod. Uh, it'll be on YouTube under on my channel under streams or live under live, uh, and you can just watch it back if you want to. So go for it. I am going to end the stream really soon, though. Uh, I think that's okay with everyone. I think everyone's ready for bed or just ready to wrap this up. So um, take care, all of you. Um, I hope you have a nice evening. Stream is not going to start soon. I'm just going to move to that stream screen real quick and um yeah i'll see you tomorrow um see you guys then